Hello, everybody. Lots of people on tonight. How are all of you guys doing? Let's see. We have Hey Paul, Monica, Lee, Aaron, oh, Shana. Hey, oh, thank you so much. Hello from Massachusetts. Hello, Denise. Hello from California. Wow. My sublimation ink just got here. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited for you too. Yay. What kind of printer did you get or do you have? Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Jay Elliott. Hey, Lou. Hey, Bonnie. Sacramento, California in the house. Hey, Kim, Leslie, and Amanda. What are you guys up to? Are y'all working tonight? Hey, Amanda from Georgia. I'm trying to clean my mats off really quick because they got a ton of lint and stuff on them, and I don't want to have um, too big of a mess to deal with. I know that when you cut with dirty mats, Sometimes your vinyl won't cut all the way through. So I'm just trying to get that ready. So what are you guys up to? And y'all know my chat's like a little bit delayed. So I don't know if this streaming service makes it, but it's like a whole minute behind, I think. Hey, Raquel. Hey, Lainey. Just trying to clean these mats off. Always hair, always lint, and always pieces of vinyl on these mats, I swear. Hi, Karen from South Dakota, negative five degrees. Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. It was pretty warm here today. It was so funny. Like, two days ago, it seems like a bunch of people in the state got snow. We didn't get snow. Um, but everybody was so excited. And then literally the next day, it was like 55 degrees. It went from snowing to like 55 degrees. So that's part of it. Hello, future Sally, <laughs> future Sally. Um, I'm about to clock out of my nine to five and go to work on some orders. Yay, Holly. Hi, Shannon. Oh, and hey, Rebecca, you're there too. Love my shirt design. Oh, yep. I am a homebody. That is for sure. Can anyone else relate? Who else loves being at home? How do I recommend cleaning mats? So Lainey, I... Usually just take the like the hard part of my squeegee up here and I'll clean what I can off the mats. And I've actually recently learned that you can wash them with Dawn dish detergent or Dawn dish, Dawn dish detergent, Dawn dish soap in your sink, hot water, like warmish hot water, and just kind of scrub it lightly with a sponge and it cleans it and then it dries and it's sticky again. Oh, thank you so much, Shayna. Oh, crafty moms must stick together. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. Hi, Renee. I love being at home. I do too. <laughs> I'm working tonight, getting 20 orders completed to go out tomorrow. Wow, Raquel. Awesome. I have a good bit too. I think, let's see. I don't know exactly how many. Um, This... What I need to get, what I like to get done is what I have in my queue, at least for the beginning part of the week. So I have 26 that I need to get done. Well, I'm going to be working on today or tonight and then tomorrow to get out for the first part of the week. And then I'll have another batch of orders that I got to get out for the later part of the week. So that's just what I'm working on tonight. And um, I'm about to cut some vinyl. I was going to get all of this ready, but we had a little accident. My daughter actually cut her finger very, very bad. And at first we thought we were going to possibly have to go get stitches. Thank goodness we didn't. Um, I was even worried I wasn't going to be able to go live. But luckily my husband's taking care of her now. But it was scary. You know, little ones and especially the re resilient toddlers. You have to keep a very close eye on them. She's just into everything. So thank goodness she didn't. The bleeding stopped. Um, I've worked in the lab 15 years and slowly working towards creating a large portfolio from working all the time. That's awesome. Jor Jordan, I'm guessing that's your name, Jordan. That's so awesome. You can do it for sure. I love being at home. Definitely a homebody. Yeah, me too. I've always been that way, even pre quarantine. <laughs> oh yeah. She is totally fine. She just got a hold of something that she wasn't supposed to have and cut her finger, but luckily she is okay. I don't have anything to get done, but I put new designs up today. Yay. Yes, I'm glad she's okay, too. It isn't the first time this little one's gotten hurt. 
it's funny, like my firstborn child was so careful and cautious. We never hardly ever had any accidents with her. And oh, she is one of a kind, but I love her. Do I use removable or permanent vinyl for cars? I use permanent vinyl for cars, Kaylee. Removable vinyl is typically only for walls or something that you want to be able to remo remove. Hello from Dominican Republic. Oh, hello. Wow. Coming from pretty far. Hello from Texas. Oh, am I freezing up again? I'm okay now. Okay, good. Yeah, y'all just let me know if I, I do have my um, stuff on back here. I don't know if it's messing with any, anything. Yeah, what Shana said with the soapy water, it really does work. I was kind of hesitant at first. I didn't think it would honestly get re-sticky, if that's a word, but it definitely did. But I had a lot of lint on my mats that I just wanted to quickly get off before I start working tonight. Okay, and okay, let's see. We missed a question. Let me go up and look. Can you tell me what I could do with a belt sander? So I went in clearance today and thought about it. So a belt sander, yes, they definitely are. I would if you can get a hold of one, they would be good to have. We had like a very old one and I tried it and it didn't work very well just because I think it might have been pretty old. Uh, but it would make sanding a little bit easier. So I would, I mean, hey, if you get a good deal on it, go for it. Um, I kind of just like my orbital sander because I kind of have more um, of a handle on exactly where I'm sanding, if that makes sense. So, um, but belt sanders are great for saving time is what I've heard, but someone else might know more than me. Okay, thank you, Sue. Have a good night. Jamaica in the house, wow. Love your technique for making signs. The spray paint inspired me to try stenciling. That's awesome, Linda. So have you tried the spray paint method? I'm trying to rebuild, okay, so to build my business up to help me find university. It's hard as I'm in the UK and have to homeschool my son too while attending college. Oh, wow. I, that sounds like a lot. But hey, that is awesome that you are out there doing it and uh, working hard to make your dreams come true. I always commend everybody that is trying to follow their dreams. So you can definitely do it and it will pay off for sure. My first one was always cautious, but my second one has always been in gas. They're both now type one diabetics. So I guess the oldest is catching up. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear about the diabetes. That's terrible. Um, but yes, I can definitely relate to, I think it's a second born thing. I don't know if it's like that in every family, but it seems like it. $50 at Harbor Freight. Yeah, that sounds like a good deal on the belt sander. Okay, I'm having lots of bleeds doing everything. Okay, so suggestions. So bleeding, okay. I've always found that bleeding is almost always caused by just a few things. It's either the type of paint you're using for the background. It's either not sanding enough, and I know you think you might sand a good bit, but just sand as much as you possibly can and make sure you wipe off any excess sawdust or anything that could be on your sign. Um, I've found that rough textures, when you have that stencil on top of that rough texture, sometimes it gives like a little bit of the stenciling air, air gaps, I guess, for um, bleeding to come out through. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm so bad at explaining things sometimes, but if I found that the flatter and the smoother your surface is, that is definitely the first step. Second step, like I said, paint. I really like anything with a little bit of a sheen to it for the background of the paint because it gives that stencil something to adhere to well. And flat paint rips that paint off a lot of the times. So if it's not paint and it's not your um, wood, then the only other thing it could be is making sure your stencil is adhered really well. So you just roll your roller over that as best as you can. And then after that, I even when I'm taking my transfer tape back off, I will even go over again with the tape off of it. Just roll over and make sure there's no air bubbles. And if there is bubbles, take your like a needle or something, pop the bubbles and then go get a hair dryer and blow it over and just make sure everything is flat. That is what I found. And if you do all those things, you should be good to go. So let me know if that helps, Karen. 
Hello, glad I caught you. Got my heat press open and my printer ready. Yay. Oh, yes. The smell of the heat press. I remember that. So when you first get it, you're supposed to, what is it called? Burn off, do a burn off thing. So what I did is I took it outside and I, I don't remember what the temperature I put it on. There's a whole thing online that can teach you. Um, go out there and just burn it off for a while and let all that smells kind of go off into the air. And usually after that, it's better because now I can't even smell mine anymore. But I know in the beginning it did have slight smell. So hopefully that helps. Oh, thank you, Shana. Yeah. And don't forget to hit that like button. I appreciate it. I keep chickening on opening an Etsy shop. I'm so scared. Oh, Amanda, there is nothing to be scared of. There's literally nothing at all to worry about because what is there to lose? That's what I always have said. You know, um, there's really nothing to lose if you just put your shop open and just do your best work and make sure that you're filling out your titles, tags, descriptions, have really good quality photos, a good quality product, and you can do it for sure. And it's all a learning process, you know, and I've learned so much from the very beginning. And there's things that were so embarrassing and awful that I used to do, like the picture quality was not the best in the beginning. But you know what you learn. So the best thing to do is just put put it out there and just go for it. You can do it for sure. Is painting the design better for signs other than vinyl? So I like painting just because I think it gives it more of like a natural look. There are other shops that do vinyl on signs and that's totally okay. I just, my customer base and the type of signs that I kind of do, I've noticed they like paint better. So there's not a better or worse. It's just what um, you prefer. Oh, Leslie, that's awesome. I'm so happy that it turned out good for you. How do I weigh my packages? So um, may I have a little, <laughs> just a regular old scale that you would even weigh yourself on that I've been using, but I have ordered one of the regular shipping scales. It should be coming soon, um, but really any scale should work. And I ship so many of the same si size signs that I really already know how much things are gonna weigh. And it's always pretty accurate. But in the beginning, I would just recommend, you know, making sure you have some way to weigh your items. And then um, when the post office usually ships your stuff, you're able to check and see how much they weigh there. So it's really not as intimidating as you might think it is, but I do recommend having some type of scale. And I always kind of guesstimate a little bit more than it is at home. So if it says like it could possibly be close to the next pound up, I'll just round up to the next pound because I'd rather overestimate than underestimate. And it used to be back in the day, and I don't, I don't, I haven't seen this happening anymore, but they would charge your customer if it was undercharged or whatever. Um, in the beginning, I had this happen with like when I was showing you guys about my packing peanuts, how that's why I put that in the poly mailers is because you need that thickness. And a lot of people have been asking that because they don't know that. So just in case any of you don't know, if you don't have, if you ship out first class and your package is flat, perfectly flat, um, it has to be a min minimum of one fourth inch thickness or otherwise your client or customer is going to get charged for priority mail pricing. And that's what used to happen. Now they just charge your Etsy account. And that's I like that a lot better. So if you mess up, it goes to your account versus telling your customer that they're going to have to pay. So that's kind of what is they're doing now. But um, that is why it's good to, I guess, just be prepared for that. Just make sure you're reading up all that info. Because things are changing every day, obviously, with USPS, it seems like. And I hope that was even the question. I kind of got off topic, I feel like, a little bit. But yeah, weighing your package. Just have some way to weigh it, and you'll be good. Would you be able to make a custom vinyl decal for a business name like you did on the wall? Yes, I can. It just depends on the exact, like, if you have files that I'm able to trace or if you have a PNG, SVG, something like that, that I could make you um, a decal. But yes, definitely. Okay, so best tips and materials for reducing texture of your base paint. I keep getting bubbles and texture no matter what I use. So what kind of roller are you using, Jenna? Jenna? Uh, I really like the high density foam rollers. I used to use the like, I don't even know what the other type are called, 
but I used to use a different type and I did have a lot of bumpy texture. So I recommend definitely the high density foam and I love my Valspar 2000. It's my favorite. So they recommend an hour of burn off. Yes. What? Okay. So let's see. I contact them about it, freaking out about the maggot smell. <laughs> I definitely understand that, but it is normal in the very beginning, but I would definitely, I don't know what brand you got. Um, I got the power heat press. Yeah, the power heat press and mine did smell in the beginning, but it's definitely it has no smell at all now. Oh, thanks, Lou. <laughs> Okay, how many layers of seal do I use and do I seal over my vinyl? So with my regular stained wood signs, I do one layer after staining, let dry. Then you put your stencil on, put another layer of sealing, a sealer, um, remove, uh, or I'm sorry, paint, remove, then seal again. And that's usually it. So however many layers I just said, that's what I do. And do I recommend sealing over vinyl? No, I do not. Uh, vinyl really needs to breathe. It needs to have... Um, I guess just, like I said, breathe. I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, if you put sealer over it, it can cause the vinyl to bubble or crack down the line. So do I ship with USPS? Yes, I ship USPS and FedEx and UPS. But mostly lately, I've been doing FedEx for my big packages because Etsy offers discounts for FedEx labels. Can you yell at me to get out of bed and do my laundry? Oh my gosh, don't even mention laundry because oh, I'm so behind. I'm so behind, but I have so many things that I just want to be doing. And laundry, as long as your laundry is clean and in baskets, it's okay, right? <laughs> yes, Amanda, that's right. You have nothing to lose for sure. 20 cents a listing. And if you use one of those store owner referrals, you get 40 free listings. Yes, I have a referral if you guys want any for your 40 free listings for your Etsy shop. I always have it linked. So if you guys want to start an Etsy shop, use that. And, it, and then, then you can basically just start off for free. So it's definitely nice to have. Have I ever sold my signs at a craft fair? No, I have not. So I have no advice for that, unfortunately. I would like to do that one day. I just, I get so busy with my online store that I just don't have time to make things for craft stores. Everything I make is made to order. So I feel like it would take me forever to pre-make a bunch of stuff for a craft show. But you, if you do it, let me know because one day I will. Because I just, I want to experience it just so I can say I did. Any tips on what to do if orders coming in are none to slim? So thank you for thank you for that comment. And uh, for what I recommend for that is just to take that time and just try and keep improving. Um, I don't know how many listings you have. Do you, are you on Etsy? How many listings do you have, Taylor? Can you start an Etsy page without a business? Yes, for sure, Kathy. A lot of people start without a business. Um, the only thing you need is your name, your address, all that good stuff, your bank information. And that's really all they require. Can you start? Oh, I just read the same question. I've tried the foam and I think I wasn't using enough paint. Okay. Um, yes, I would sand more Jenna just as much as you can wipe down and then try the high density foam again and just I dip it pretty thick I put it on pretty thick let it dry and then I do another coat couple coats sometimes one sometimes two more so just give that a try what is the best way to boost Etsy pages except social media and Etsy ads so the best way to boost Etsy pages without social media so really the key to Etsy's heart is um, Etsy ads, which I know you say you don't want to do um, photos, having good quality photos and your SEO, just making sure it's top notch. So make sure your pictures are extremely good quality. You're know, bright. Um, fill out all of them. they say do as many photos as you can. But I only put, I think, five ish. And you can fill those up with anything from different pictures of products to I put little things like 
make sure to like us on social media or um, why choose Simply Sally and just fill up your photos. That's good for SEO. And then make sure your listing is chock full of information. Uh, just to keep working at your SEO. That's really the best way to boost your shop if you're not paying for ads. I don't normally pay for ads. I've been testing it out lately just to see. And I'm kind of curious. I'm going to go look because I haven't looked in a couple days. But it wasn't very good in the beginning, but it does take 30 days to get into Etsy's algorithm. I normally don't like doing ads, but I'm trying here because I do want to kind of see. So let's see how much I've spent and how much revenue from those ads I've got. Okay, so I can't determine if this is really a good, I don't know, is what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, conversion? But I've spent $104 in the last 30 days, and that's made me $446.40 from that from those ads. So I don't really know if that's 100% worth it because you do spend a lot in ads, but it is getting me sales. So those sales. And the reason why it's a little bit higher or more money for those is because I'm only advertising my wood signs right now just because the, um, when I had my vinyl decals up, it was eating all of my money that I wanted to go into ads like within the first just a little while. So I decided to just advertise my wood signs. So I don't know. I'm going to kind of do the math a little bit and see if that's a good conversion for what I like. I'm spending $5 a day and I just started this month or this last month. So $5 a day and it's made me $446. I don't know. Not sure if that's good or not, but that's what's going on. And it used to be really good for me, you know, Etsy ads. They used to make me really, really good um, conversion. But uh, that was back in the day when Etsy ads were a little bit more simple. Now they're a little bit complicated, I feel like. Okay, where was I? How do I remind myself to get off my phone? <laughs> like what time of night to stop checking emails? Shayna, I struggle with that, girl. I have a, like, I get very overwhelmed because I have so many emails I got to get back to about this and that. I really am not good at, I'm probably not going to be good at answering that question because I struggle with it too. But I say at night when I'm done with orders, I just pull out my phone and I'm, I'll start watching my shows or whatever. And I usually try, I'm trying to get on a routine where in the morning for like an hour, I'm going to respond to emails, do social media stuff. And then during the rest of the day, just focus on other things. And then well, through the day, check your emails, obviously, as important emails come in or whatever. But I'm trying to get better about that because I find myself getting so distracted by emails and my phone. But I'd say just do what works best for you and your family. I try it for sure when I'm done working for the day, at least to just stop checking it constantly, if that makes sense. But it's always on my mind. You know, when you hear that your phone going off for sure, it definitely gets very distracting. I got an order on Etsy for three different products to the same shipping address and it gave me three different labels. Okay, so Lainey, yes, this is not your fault normally. Normally, sometimes people, what they'll do is instead of doing like a quantity, they'll just go and check out multiple times. I get that, that I get that a lot. So how I fix that, and I don't know if you've already shipped it yet, but I will just ship one time and I'll go ahead and figure it up for all of the things that they ordered and I'll refund them the shipping that they paid for the two additional items. And then in the two, like let's say they place two extra orders, you go in there and mark them as complete. So you don't act like you're going to go ship them. You just mark them as complete. Does that make sense, Lainey? If you have any questions, you can email me and I'm happy to walk you through that. Hey, Cassie. You excited to watch The Bachelor? <laughs> Who else is watching The Bachelor? It's like guilty pleasure. Like I've been watching it for years. Love it. Um, is it 20 cents a listing or 20 cents each individual item? So Crystal, it is each time that you post a listing, it's 20 cents. And each time you sell that listing, it's 20 cents. Well, I'm sorry. So when you post the listing, it's 20 cents. And um, when you get a sale, it also charges you the 20 cents. So every time that you get a sale, it's going to charge you that 20 cents. You have 14 listings. I was getting quite orders. 
Taylor, try getting even more listings up. Um, they say, I think I've heard somewhere that 30 is like a sweet spot. So um, keep trying to list as many items as possible. Just keep on listing. My sublimation printer should be arriving any day. I was wondering what kind of heat press you have. So congratulations on your sublimation printer. It's so exciting. And heat press, I have the power heat press on Amazon. I have it linked in my Amazon shop, which is always linked down below. So if you want to check it out, I love it. I've had it for years. I think how many years have I had it? Gosh, since 2016, 15 or 16, maybe. And I've had no issues with it. So I definitely recommend it. I think it's less than $200. I think I could be wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. My husband was telling me something real quick. I've been watching all your videos. So informative. How did you choose what stencil? I think I missed somebody's question up here. Oh, do I have a link to the vinyl scrapers you send to customers? Um, J bugs, I do um, inside of my Amazon shop. I have them under vinyl, I think, or maybe it's shipping under shipping. Okay, so how do I choose what stencil, what to stencil on the signs? So if you're talking about just like what I want to sell, I'll usually just like do my market research going on Etsy, seeing what sayings are popular, what's selling well, and then I'll just make my own spin on it. And I have like a whole file on my silhouette that I saved of all the signs that I've come together. So anytime someone orders it or orders a sign, I just go from that and put it on there. But yeah, if I'm deciding what I want, I just go to Pinterest, go to Etsy, just see what's trending and what's popular. And by the way, guys, leopard print is super popular right now. I, I guess I was late to the game realizing how popular it truly is right now. Um, but, you know, just looking and doing your research, you'll see what like people are you know, what's the, all the rage right now, what people are wanting. And that's kind of how I decide what to sell, to be honest. That's really what I do. How much on average does it cost to ship a small decal in the mailers? So on average, I'd say a small decal is usually between 270-ish, and that's very low, and 325 for like big decals, um, bigger decals. So um, my decals are always about, well, I put four ounces, but it's usually a lot less. And that's what it costs usually. So I guess between like two, let's just say 285 to 325 ish. Okay. What is the best hosting site? So I like, what is your name, by the way, saved by my sins? I want to, I always like to try and put a name to y'all's Etsy or Etsy YouTube usernames. Um, I like Wix. I have Wix and I do like it, but like I have said plenty of times, I don't put a whole lot of effort onto my Wix websites because I'm just so busy with Etsy and that's really not a good thing to do. I know you need to put more eggs and more baskets, but I like Wix. I think it's very easy. It's cheaper than Shopify. It's the same thing as Shopify. And I get this question a lot, like what's better Shopify or Etsy? Shopify and Wix and GoDaddy and all of that stuff is just essentially it's your own standalone website. Wix is just like Shopify within um, you can link things to it. You can set up your whole website by yourself. They are the host and they do everything for you. The only thing you need to do is just get your um, domain name, which actually you can even do that through them. But I went through GoDaddy. It's very cheap to get your own domain and link everything. So that's what I like. And other people use shop. I know a lot of people use Shopify. I just thought it was a lot cheaper to use Wix. So I went with Wix because <laughs> it was, you know, like I said, essentially the same thing. I just sent you an Etsy message. Please check inbox. Okay, I will do. I can't find font news to get the skinny font. Um, I go to DaFont. So it's literally D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. That is where I get my, um, where that's where I used to get my fonts. Now I get pretty much everything at font bundles. I haven't opened my Etsy because I'm so confused about shipping. Do I have any videos? So Michelle, I do have videos on shipping profiles, but I'm going to set it up a new video soon because I know a lot of people have questions on shipping, but I promise you, once you go on Etsy, it is super easy. It, it's just 
everything is really easy to walk. They walk you through a lot of the stuff and I figured everything out. And I think there's a good bit of videos on there. Well, hello, it's my dog. I thought it was one of the kids. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> he just poked his head through the door. Um, um, what was I even talking about? Oh, shipping. So yes, I think I figured everything out just because it's so easy. Once you get on there, you literally select your order and go to shipping and you're able to then fill out your um, shipping. What is it even called? Your shipping area. And it has everything pretty much self-explanatory. But what I'll do is I will make that video. I'll go ahead and make it really soon for you guys because I have been getting a lot of questions on that. So if you can bear with me for about a week or so, I'll go ahead and get that up for you guys. But I promise it's not it's not scary at all. Hi, Addison. Remember, sales made more sales. Look at advertising is what increase overall shop visibility. Yes, I agree with that. Advertising, it is good. I agree because it does get more people to your shop. And um, I've come to realize lately, I was I joined a course. Um, I was kind of learn, learning more about sublimation. And in this course, they talk a lot about ads on there, about how to increase your business um, sales and everything like that. And they're very big on Facebook ads. And they said that they spent over a thousand dollars, um, a week or something crazy on Facebook ads. And I was like, but the amount of money that they were making, it was insane. It was absolutely crazy. So ads, I think definitely if you get the sweet spot of how much money you're willing to spend on ads, that return should be worth it. If you're filling everything out, right. Hey, Tabitha. I'm um, sorry, I'm a little bit behind. I just looked at the time that these were sent in. <laughs> Have I ever shared my Etsy store? I'm just wondering how you price your vinyl decals. So I don't normally advertise my Etsy store just because it can kind of mess with your conversion rate if people aren't buying things. So um, I don't usually advertise it a lot, but I don't mind it. If anybody ever wants to look at it, I totally don't mind. Um, but just wondering how I price my vinyl decals. It changes. So I used to just do a dollar an inch. Now it depends on how many colors, how big it is. Um, but it's normally, if it's not, it's around the, usually I'll go by the height and um, width of it, but I'll also increase based off of, like I told you, if there's multiple colors, if it's um, complicated or not. But I do kind of have the same formula that I use for every listing for vinyl decals and soon I'm going to be making that video that I was telling you guys about on how I um, price my handmade products definitely watching bachelor yes I have um I don't have cable so I have to watch it like the next day that it comes on I'm wet and ready for my weekly dose of drama yes because our life is so drama free right now that um, it's nice to get that uh, trash TV in there sometimes. Yes, 50 by 15 Fancier Studio Heat Press. Just opened it yesterday. I think that's the same one I have. Isn't that it? Fancier Studio Power Heat Press. That's the one that I have. Hey, Ashley. Hi, Avella. Okay, I'm trying to get down to the bottom, y'all. Sorry, it takes me a while to make sure I read. I, I always like to try and answer as many questions as possible, and then I got to start my machine. I always feel like I get so carried away and I don't start working. <laughs> so how do I figure out what quotes and sayings I can design on a wood sign without getting in trouble if it's trademarked? So, Taylor, I just, if it looks like it's going to be trademarked, or if it looks like something that could be trademarked, I go check on that trademark website that I told you guys about, and I think it's, I can't even say it. It's like up to something. It's um, a United States trademark something. And I'll check it and type it in and see if it's trademarked. And you can always tell if it is. But if it's something like home sweet home, that would be absolutely insane if that's trademarked. I haven't even checked to see if that's trademarked. <laughs> but um, there's a lot of stuff that's trademarked. It's pretty crazy. But like I said, just do your research. Go on that website. I think it's up. You just type in United States trademark search and it should pop up. 
Where do I buy my transfer tape? I buy it at US Cutter. And I use R Tape Clear Choice AT65. Hey, Ness. Oh, yay. I'm so glad that you could be on. What do you do when you message someone to see if they would like a replacement or refund on something that you are now unable to make and they don't message you back? So, Tabitha, Tabitha, if you need to refund them or feel like you cannot make their product, just refund. There's a way to do it without even reaching out. You just click on their order and go to the little more panel or whatever and then refund and cancel. I would do that. I wouldn't even worry about it. If you're not able to, I would just refund it. What program do you use to create designs other than words? So I use um, Silhouette Studio. I use and I use Adobe Illustrator. Sally, am I on TikTok? No, but I am going to be on TikTok. I am going to make a TikTok. I know that I just don't know if I'm able to keep up with all these people that are posting multiple times a day because I don't even know how to make a video, but I will. Um, I'm going to be doing that soon. Oh, yes. The See, y'all, I'm so behind. I, when I said bye to him, he had to run out really quick to get something. He better come up here and say hey to you guys. He was eating and taking care of the little one. That's where he was down there. Um, but maybe he'll come up here and say hey. I know that you've talked about this before, but do you seal over your painted signs, not the frame? No, I do not. Um, I don't really see the point. If it's going to be indoors, I use like wall paint and stuff, so it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay on the sign and it does great. I have signs that I've made that are years and years and years old and they're fine. So I do not seal over painted, painted wood signs. Do you ever have an issue with the I and the N with the skinny font? Huh? No, I have not, Jackie. Um, put in extra cuts. Maybe it's just because they're so little and you might need to mess around with your silhouette settings if you have silhouette or Cricut. Um, just make sure that you're cutting deep enough. Sometimes when your vinyl settings are not proper, you will have problems with your cuts. So check that. Just play around with your settings. Do you use design bundles for your SVGs? I'm so afraid with copyright. So Kim, I'm going to be completely honest. I have not gotten in. I've been literally designing all of my SVGs from scratch because I'm so scared to use like clip art from other places. And I haven't found that answer. I've literally tried so hard to research on where you can find like even just simple things like hearts and all of that stuff. I've literally been drawing everything and it's it's hard. And I know that there's SVG shops out there that are using clip art and I can't figure out where you can get the clip art that's license free. So if anybody knows that question, please let me know, because I have literally been researching it. I'm not those kind of I'm not the kind of person that reaches out and asks people because I want to try and figure it out myself. But if anybody knows where if you're an SVG designer, where can you get clip art to use in your designs that is commercial free? How's my sublimation journey coming along? It is going well. I haven't made anything yet, but guess what, y'all? My shirts come tomorrow and I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. I got my bleach for, for bleach teas that I'm going to be making. I got yesterday, I got some, um, what is it called? Peroxide. And I have my shirts coming in tomorrow. And what else is supposed to be coming? I don't remember. And then I'm going to be ordering a mug press because I'm going to get started with mugs too. So all of that's in the works. Okay, I was things that I feel like I need to research and make sure I'm doing properly and right. But I do want to do that for sure. I do want to do that. I've just heard nightmares about custom fees and people getting mad at shops for them having to pay customs. So I might need to get with somebody that's an Etsy shop owner to talk to about that just to make sure I'm doing everything right. Well, thank you, Michelle. That is so sweet of you to say. Hey, Sarah Ann Creations. Oh, thank you so much, Kelly. And you said, how do I decide whether to use Birchwood versus Blondewood? I honestly, after this last experience that I had with Birch, I'm going to stick with Blondewood for my actual wood signs because that Birch, I don't know if it was just a bad batch I got last time, but the back, the laminate, is that what it is? Laminate on the top was just literally breaking and peeling off and it drove me absolutely nuts. I wasted so much wood. So I like the blonde wood for wood signs and it's cheaper. It's like 30 something dollars versus 50 something dollars. 
But I do use birch for my Scrabble tiles because it does have a natural wood look to it. Hey, Erin. Oh, something just fell. Hey, my first live. Well, I'm so glad to have you here, Jenny. Yay. <laughs> so glad to have you here. Is butcher, 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 butcher paper 100% needed to sublimate? You can use parchment paper, but make sure it's not wax coated. Make sure it is just straight up like paper. Does that make sense? Because the wax can stick to the heat. You've been binge watching me for three days. Oh, thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. Hi, Jennifer. What is the font of the Simply Sally in your office? So that one, oh gosh, I think it's, I'm not sure. I'll have to go check and let you know. I think it's Goldie. Well, the one up there is Goldie Rainbow. I don't know if that one is Goldie Rainbow. It might be. That's been my favorite font lately. But when I figure it out, I'll let you know. Make sure you're on the Facebook group if you have a Facebook and I will um, let you know. What kind of wood signs do I make? Jim, I make framed wood signs and regular old pine wood signs. That's the kind of wood signs I make. And I also make other little things here and there like uh, teacher gifts, little pencils and just a bunch of stuff. Hi, Sally. Hope you're well. I know you touched on this before. Can you do a video on how you use your Dymo? Yes, Summerly. I'm going to do that for sure. Um, I was going to include that, I think, either in my video with shipping or do a whole separate video because a lot of you want to know how to make stickers and stuff with the Dymo. So I will have that video coming. How often do I change my needle? So um, the blade, I don't have to change it very often at all. Maybe once every six months to a year you really don't need to change it as long as you keep it sharpened which you sharpen it and clean it with uh, aluminum foil i started watching your videos a week and wanted to say thank you for the support in your videos thank you so much linda i appreciate the kind words you guys are the best i use pixabay hmm nikki i'm gonna look it up pixabay i will write that down I just don't even know like where to start with that because I am taking way too long designing them by myself. So, okay, I got it. Thank you so much, Nikki. Dover. Okay, there's another one. Do Dover. Thank you, Melissa. You can get tons of clip art on Vexy. Wow, you guys are all, that's awesome. I have no idea. See, I tried to do my own research and for some reason it's just the answer wasn't really out there. You said home sweet home and I'm literally weeding a sweet home. <laughs> Jenna, that sounds like me. Oops. I didn't mean to highlight you, Erin, but there we go. I use design bundles for my SVG. So yes, I saw that too. But the thing I worried about, Erin, with that is I reached out to a couple of the designers and they said I could not use it if I was selling a file with the actual art in it. Like I would have to actually take it apart and make my own. Does that make sense? That's what they're saying. I don't know. You can get free commercial illustrations on free pick. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and look at all these websites, y'all. That's what it sounds like, um, CAD N72. I think it was a bad batch. Um, the guy did cut it very fast, and my husband and I were both like, we need to get that guy to just, but I, I was in such a hurry that I just was like, it's all right, I'll just cut the very end off and it'll be fine, but I think he really messed up that wood. <laughs> so, you're such an inspiration. Thank you for helping me and everyone else. Oh, thank you so much, Taylor. That is so sweet. Anytime you guys tell me like your stories and how much if I've helped you, it seriously means so much to me. I appreciate it so much. Yes, Sam's Club. That is where you get the book. That's where we got our I got my butcher paper. So go there because it's really cheap. Well, thank you guys for all the answers. Now I'm so excited. I could have just come on here and asked y'all. I was sitting here trying to do all my own research. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my uh, computer ready. So I really need to get my uh, designs started to cut. If my computer starts slowing down, just let me know. Brenda the legend. <laughs> 
Is Brenda on here? Hi, Brenda. Is my Facebook group free? Yes, it is 100% free. And there's so many amazing, helpful people on there. So I definitely recommend joining it, Linda. File, you are making a design, not selling the fi design file. Double click for you can check. You can buy the right to use the designs. Okay, Brenda, thank you. I just approved a ton of new friends to the group. Oh, yay. Ka yeah, Cassie is my uh, moderator in my group. She is so amazing. And she's helping me keep this group going. And I was getting so slow in approving posts because I wanted to make sure I was answering every single person. And I felt so bad. So I wanted to make sure I waited. But Cassie's been on there to just help me approve. She's been approving people in posts. I appreciate her so, 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 so much. Have you researched that spray that lets you sub on cotton? I haven't done that. Um, what is your name, Coffee Powered Home? I'm not sure. I, I want to try and call you by your name. But um, I've heard that people do recommend not doing that because it can cause problems down the road with washes. But I don't know if that's true. I'm so new at it. I'm not to be trusted with that yet. So. Hey, April. So glad you're here. Yeah, Cassie is a boss, Lou. And you, you and your wife are too, for sure. That poly spray is amazing. Okay, so maybe it is. I'll have to look into it. Been watching your videos on and off while working from home. This is the first time I'm seeing live. Oh, thank you so much for joining, Iris. How am I in these crazy times? We are doing good. I hope that you're doing good. I have been, we have been had a couple family members that were going through, you know, the horrible sickness and luckily we weren't around them or anything, but it was very scary, you know, seeing things like that. So it is hard, um, you know, seeing people that you love going through these crazy times, but you know what, the best we can do is just keep moving on and um, know that life is going to get better soon. Hopefully back to normal. I'm so ready to just like take my kids places again and just let them have fun. It's just been so you know, which I'm sure all of you are the same way, going a little stir crazy. But as my shirt says, homebody, I still like being at home, though. <laughs> Did my first screen printed shirts yesterday using vinyl with the screen. That is awesome, Erin. First one didn't go very well, but the second one turned out great. That is amazing. I was looking into screen printing, but I decided to wait because it just I the sublimation was calling me. So that's why I decided to go for that. OK, let's see. You look like my mom. <laughs> well, th I thank you, I guess, Grizzly Squad. Um, I don't know, um, but I appreciate it, I guess. <laughs> Creative Fabrica has the commercial use for items. Awesome. You guys are giving me lots of good websites I'll have to look at. Liz. Okay, Liz, I gotcha. Try and remember that. Sally, I just want to thank you for all the advice. Laser business, I love it. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for the kind words. Hi from Malaysia. Oh, hello. It's actually four ounces distilled water and three ounces polycrylic and don't have your heat above 400 degrees. Oh, y'all, that's beyond me at this point. But I'm going to research about that. I will let y'all know. I love your page and YouTube. You're awesome. Thanks for your help. Mine three months old when I went back to his mom. I had him for three weeks. Oh, wow, Sharon. I remember you telling me about your grandson. So she had surgery. I'm so, I'm, I hope that she's doing okay. Thank you, Tash. Totally stir crazy. Yeah, we're, um, we're going a little bit stir crazy. Just a little bit. Okay, I luckily, these two signs that I need to do for right now, um, are fitting perfectly on a 12 by 24 mat. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and get them. I'm going to use my normal silhouette tonight because I don't feel like messing with a pro tonight. Don't feel like trying to get that set up tonight. Oh, you guys. So was it YouTube that we were talking about the new weeding tools? And I was like, I'm gonna go get one. I ordered them. So I'm going to be trying it out tonight. This thing is sharp too. I don't know if y'all can see it. Um, you guys recommended the pin pin. And so I was like, I got to try this out. And so I ordered the two pack. I think it was $11. I could be wrong. Um, but this thing is like super sharp. So I'm excited to see how it works. Um, but I'm going to link it in the Amazon shop too, if you guys want to check one out, but they're supposedly like really awesome weeding tools. 
pin pin. Yeah, that's it. Pin pin. So I'm going to be trying it out tonight and I'll let y'all know how it goes. Once I get this cut out, I'm going to go test it out here in a minute. Let me get my silhouette plugged up. Oh, thank you so much, Natalie. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you can trust me because I definitely want to, you know, I was telling you guys on Facebook, like, I just want to be real with y'all about everything, like the struggles that I go through, everything. I don't ever want you guys to feel like you're going to be misled in any way or that I'm living some unrealistic life because I struggle. I struggle just like every single other person out there. I mess up on orders sometimes. I like y'all saw my last video where I kept packaging the wrong orders up. Like that is my life, y'all. I'm a very scatterbrained person in case you haven't already noticed. So Oh my gosh, I of course decided to plug my um, thing up and the plug is hanging across the room. So I have to jump over a bunch of stuff just to get back over here. A mechanical pencil and a needle. Raquel, that's a good idea. My ADHD is starting to get to pretty prompt. How do y'all focus? Oh gosh, I totally can relate to that. Hi from Malaysia. Hello. I have two sons and now I'm selling vinyl decals and shop platform. Got a few orders. That's so amazing. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Okay. Get this on the machine. Uh oh, my thing came on. Um, have any of you, I don't know if y'all can hear me. Hold on one second. Have any of you had problems with your Silhouette threes um, lock mechanism thing? Not lock. What is it called? The roller bar getting unlocked a lot. Mine's been doing that lately, so I don't know why. Okay, I need to change my, change it to the silhouette three. And then turn it to two. I forgot to check my blade. Um, that's another thing when I'm like starting to cut for the night or the day, whatever, I always clean my blade out because as y'all can, you probably can't see, you won't be able to see. There is vinyl gunk on this right now. So I'll just kind of take my fingernail and clean it out. Um, you can also do this with aluminum foil too and get it nice and clean again, sharp, and then it'll cut good. So if there's even one little tiny piece of vinyl, your vinyl will not cut well. That's one thing I have definitely noticed. So always check those blades before you start cutting. Okay, it's ready to go. Okay, that's cutting. Okay, tape sometimes helps the lock. I'll try that out. I hate that lock. Yeah, it's really not, it's not, um, it doesn't ever stay in place, it seems like. Is that the big humongous sheet vinyl? Yes, Paul. That is a, it's a big roll I keep over there and I just cut off what I need. I'm trying to go back up and see if I miss any. Um, I have that those videos coming very, very, very soon. I'm going to try and play around with it tomorrow when I get my new shirts. How do you create your SVG files without an iPad? So, Taylor, you're going to laugh at me, but I literally use my mouse pad on my computer 
and I just draw, I, I like, I just do my very best and it takes me a long time. Like if I'm actually drawing something that takes effort, but in that course that I took, it showed you how to use your pen tool on there. So I just literally just draw. So I'm going to be getting an iPad soon though, I think, um, for that purpose though, because I want to get procreate so bad. Am I going to do a video soon on how I did my pictures with stain options and vinyl color for you? Erin, yes. Thank you for reminding me. You know, I'm, I have a so, so many videos that I need to be doing. Um, but yes, that one actually will probably be one of the next ones coming this week. I'm trying to start doing two videos a week on top of the lives. I really enjoy making videos. So I'm going to be trying to do more. Um, but yes, I'll put that on my list to get done, Erin. I refer to myself as indoorsy. I love it. Can you make me a decal shirt, a mug, a sign, some greeting cards? Me, sure. <laughs> you sound like me. I'm so all over the place. Hello from Texas. Hello, Patricia. Hello from Northern Ireland. Hello, Warren. Good evening, Sally. Just got home from picking up sun from work, and it's freaking cold outside. It is getting cold tonight. It was not that cold today, but it's cold tonight here. Sorry if y'all hear my dog. He must hear literally a wind, the wind blowing. I should go whack on whack on tablet. I saw those. I'm gonna look into it, but I just the Procreate has my eye for sure. Sally, you need a wireless mouse. I would die using the mouse pad. <laughs> a lot of people make fun of me for it. It's sticky notes for me. Sticky notes everywhere. That's me. I have that whiteboard and I... Oh, I heard it get stuck on my... Um, let me get a piece of paper really quick. <laughs> Every time I cut vinyl right there, it gets stuck on the um, wood. I have like a piece of wood that's slightly up on the table, so it keeps getting stuck. So, hello from Australia. Hello, Kathy. I've always wanted to go to Australia. One day I'm going to travel. One day I'm going to go to those places. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Abra. Abra. <laughs> My dog is barking at yours looking for him. <laughs> Our dog, seriously, like he thinks he's such a big bad boy. But he is. He's such a good boy. He loves his family and he's always protective. So I had a bamboo tablet and hated it because I can't look at the screen and draw on something separate. That's like what I'm, I want to be able to look at the screen and know what I'm drawing. I did look at those like separate things that you can draw on and it looked like it was something that I would just have a hard time with. Hey Rachel from Louisiana. I had family all from Louisiana when um before my time. That's where a lot of my family was originated from. I am working in Procreate right now. That's awesome. Jealous. I totally want to get it. I might soon. But yes. So we're cutting right now I'm just cutting some signs. I don't know if y'all can, oh, y'all can kind of see it. Um, let's see if I can zoom in. The first one's like a, um, memorial sign. Um, it just says, we know you would be here today if heaven wasn't so far away and loving memory. And then, and then, hey, y'all right underneath it. <laughs> Cause if you're from the South, Yes. Okay. Yes, that's cutting. Okay. Sorry, I'm late to the party. Are you guys using Procreate to create SVG files, like pictures or fonts? So, Natalie, um, thank you for coming, by the way. And are you guys using Procreate? A lot of them do use Procreate. I've just been using... Uh, Illustrator to make mine, but Procreate is something I'm looking into getting so I can expand my SVG um, drawing abilities, I guess. Hi, Sally. How are you today? Hey, Sabrina. I'm doing good. How are you doing today? 
Indonesia, hello. Wacom tablet is reasonably priced. It's like drawing on your mouse pad, only a bit bigger. I'm going to look into it, Brenda. I have been looking into downloading GIMP to draw my designs. Cindy, that's awesome. Downloading GIMP to draw my designs. I need to look into that. Y'all giving me lots of ideas. I need to get my black ready to cut. Oh, thanks, Erin. Yeah, I'm still in the very beginning process of it, um, but thank you so much. I'm still learning, um, just staying with very basic stuff right now, but I appreciate it. Hi, Courtney. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, thanks for joining. You can take pictures of things and recreate your images. I've never heard of GIMP, but that's really cool. I tried the spray paint method on some sign stand. I love it. Oh, Addison, I'm so glad you tried it. I love it, too. I'm obsessed with it. Ever since I tried it for the first time, I was hooked for sure. Does anyone use Inkscape? So, Natalie, a lot of people use Inkscape. That is, like, the second. Sorry, I always find myself yelling because that machine. Um, Inkscape is a great free alternative to Illustrator. Love your videos. Both of my daughters draw, so I brought them iPads and Procreate so they can create SVGs. That is so cool, and that's such a great idea for a gift, for sure. Um, that's a great idea. I love drawing, though. I love, I've always grown up and been very creative, so um, when I started the SVG designing, it was something I really enjoyed doing. Um, so I really definitely want to keep, keep it up, for sure. I definitely, I think I'm going to do it, Sarah, for sure. Um, it's on my list, but I need a new computer too. As y'all can see, this sad little, like you can't even see it probably, but there's tape on it. It's just like barely living. Uh, so I need a new computer and an iPad. Ugh, it's a lot, but you know, that's part of owning a business. You got lots of expenses and those are just going to be some of them, I guess. Katie, thank you so much. And you can do it for sure. Just, I'd say just go for it because there's nothing to lose. Thank you for being such a raw person. We need more of you in this world. Oh, thank you so much. That is so sweet of you to say. Have you tried StarCraft Final? I honestly have not tried it, but I've been hearing a lot of people talk about it. So maybe I'll get, um, maybe do a video, like a review on of it or something one day. Does that sound good? Maybe to let y'all know how it, how it is. Oh, did you, do you like the scissors? Uh, I know. I love the scissors too. Those are so good. I go through so many of them though, because they um break kind of easily if you're doing them for things other than your vinyl, but I love them and they're so cheap that um, for what they are. So I love them. I have broken quite a few of them because I used to use them for my cardboard and that probably wasn't the best idea, but um, not trying to be super nosy, but how much would you say you make per month with your business? So Aaron, in the beginning, in the very beginning, I was making enough to just feel like I was contributing and it was definitely, it felt good. Um, it was enough to like pay for, you know, basic bills and groceries and things like that. Um, and I was very happy with that at that point. And as it continued to grow, it has definitely grown. Um, there's obviously slow months where you don't make as much as other months, but I'll just tell you it's enough to make a complete full-time living and I've never made as much as I make in a job before. Does that make sense? So it's definitely more than I would be making in any job for sure. And I might go into it one day. I just, I'm not sure yet. 
exactly, but I want to be able to share like stats with you guys and stuff like that. Um, but you know, it definitely is a normal, you know, it's not like I'm a millionaire or anything like that by any means. I wish <laughs> maybe one day. Okay. So I tried the stencil material and they came out with, and it was terrible. Very, very thin. Oh, the Starcraft Kelly. Is that what you're talking about? I'm great. Thank you. Now I'm glad I'm starting to get orders in. was so worried about that. I made the wrong choice. Sabrina, I'm glad you're getting orders in. That's awesome. What is my favorite non-crafty thing to do when you're not working? That's a really good question, Shayna. Gosh, now I'm going to have to think about it. My favorite non-crafty thing to do. That's really hard because my whole like life, I just, even when I'm not working, I'm like wanting to do crafts or wanting to even just do something for like myself or my family. So let me think for a second. I love to hang out with my family. You know, we, anytime I'm not working, we're always hanging out like me and the kids and the hubby, <laughs> we go out and hang out together or watch movies or go outside. We have a lot of land. So we like to ride our UTV, like to hang out with our dog. <laughs> I'm kind of boring y'all. I'm, um, very, I don't really do a lot. I don't like go out and do a whole lot, but I do love to cook. I like to make food for my family and um, bake and, um, you know, just stuff like that, I guess, <laughs> just normal stuff. That's a good question. I'll have to think about that because that's kind of sad that I'm like outside of work. I'm still thinking about crafting and riding bikes. We, me and husband really like to ride our bikes together too. So there's another hobby. Let's see. I'm nervous to go through Etsy for my shop. I'll understand that I'll have to deal with these and costs forever, but I don't want to be like hit like a Mack truck. <laughs> Courtney, I know that it seems like it's a lot, uh, but the fees on Etsy, if you think about it, if you have your own website, you're still having to pay to get advertising to your website. There's not going to be constant traffic going to your website all the time unless you have like a following or like people that already know you're out there. So it's really hard to make it on your own. And Etsy kind of has that built in platform for you. So you're kind of paying for the convenience of it being on a platform full of people and customers on there. So I know it seems like a lot, but honestly, you just figure that in for your, with your pricing. So like, that's what I do. I know my decals are really low cost, but um, so that's kind of like my lower cost items. But like with wood signs, I definitely figure that in with my pricing to make sure that those fees are being covered. Does that make sense? Make sure you're paying yourself minus fees, minus shipping, all that. And that's something I didn't do. And I really want to like nail in y'all's brains that. I don't want you guys to charge just the cheapest just to get sales because what I did was that in the very beginning and I was working, I was getting all these orders, but then tax time, I would look at my, um, how much revenue I had after fees and after all of the, my bills and everything I paid. And I wasn't making as much as I thought I was. So don't do that to yourself for sure. Um, charge enough for, to cover all that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll definitely try the StarCraft, you guys. I'll for sure try that out. Thank you, Paul. What's your Chick-fil-A order? That's a good question, Cassie. Y'all would laugh. Like, my husband doesn't like Chick-fil-A. Um, whenever we're out and I want it, he's like, why do you want to go buy that overpriced chicken sandwich? And I'm like, oh, he's one of those kind of people, you know, um, I love Chick-fil-A. If me and the girls are out, me and the girls will get it. But when my husband's with us, he's like, I don't want to pay that much for a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Anyways, um, but I love just a regular chicken sandwich, like the number one with fries. And I dip my fries in honey, like regular honey. Oh, so good. And then you got to put mayonnaise on your sandwich. And that's that's what I like. I'm just a classic chicken sandwich girl. Can I join the nosy crew and ask what your husband's job is? Um, Natalie, I will say that he works in, um, he is a, hmm, how can I word this in a crafty way? Um, he works with machines that um, he fixes. Does that make sense? Maybe I'll ask him if he's um, okay with me sharing it, but he is um, kind of like a supervisor over, fixing. He's always working on things and fixing things. So I can't really, maybe I'll ask him and get him to, um, maybe he'll come up here and talk in a little bit if I can get him to come and he'll tell you guys. 
If you were a millionaire, you'd have one of the top of the line laptops and iPads. Yeah, there you go, Katie. <laughs> have you ever thought about getting a Glowforge? So Shelly, yes, I've definitely thought about it. And I wanted to get one, um, but I think we're going to end up going with something a little bit more industrial because my husband wants to be able, y'all, I'm trying the pin out. My husband wants to be able to cut like thick steel and stuff. And I don't think the Glowforge can really cut the thickness that my husband wants for what he would want to do. Y'all, this is really cool. It's it's definitely working really well. I like it. Um, This is the pen pen that everyone was recommending to me. And I'm trying it out. It works good. I wish I could show you guys. I'm a paramedic in the real world world and just hang out with family off days. Nothing wrong with enjoying that. Yes, Katie. Um, I just love hanging out with the family that we just even just like going shopping together or watching movies, whatever. That's what we like to do. I love that Etsy takes so much of the boring details out of my life. Yes, for sure. Could you maybe make a video or talk about the tax part of Etsy? Yes, Taylor, that is an uh, on my list of videos to make on. Um, I hear the dog coming again, I think. Is that a dog or is that a child? Oh, it was a child. OK, um, yes, tax video is coming soon. But I'm not a tax expert. So what I'll really be going into is more of the what you need to collect for taxes for Etsy side. So like all of the things that you need to make sure you're paying attention to um, because taxes are crazy. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> and I'm definitely not an expert for sure on that. Huh? You can talk what? What? Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, I did that one. I just went in there. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what she's saying. She's whispering. It's fine, Haley. Take it out. <laughs> um, yes, taxes coming. Oh, if you... <laughs> well, come, why don't you just come, go ahead and come, come on up here and introduce yourself to the people, Jonathan. Um, hi, Katie. Um, have been on TV, so I haven't been able to chat. Been, well, hey, I am glad that you came on here. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, Courtney, I know. I don't understand how anybody could not like Chick-fil-A, a classic $10 sandwich. Hey, 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 hey. Do you have any kids? Cool mom vibes. <laughs> Michelle, yes, I definitely do have kids. I have two little girls and um, yeah, and a husband that's a man child. <laughs> I'm just kidding, John. <laughs> oh. Oh, he was answering what he did. You break stuff and I fix it. That's right. That's about it. That's about right. <laughs> Am I missing a part? We're talking about it organizes orders, fix our tracking. Oh, you were talking about Etsy. Yes, I agree with that. It does help a lot. There's like the CSV files at the end. It does organize everything for you. And if you have your own website, you have to do all that stuff yourself. Hey, Kevin. Sorry, just getting on. Any tips on weeding the small parts of vinyl and not having them stick to other parts? I hate hate, hate weeding, small, what, go, you can do that, sorry y'all, I have um, something on in the background, I cannot stand weeding tiny, tiny letters, it is, um, it is awful, so the thing I suggest is I do the band-aid method if I can, as much as I can, you know, the ripping off really quick, that helps with really tiny things. That's pretty much what I do. Otherwise, I just have my weeding tool ready and I slowly just work with it. But the Band-Aid method, look it up if you haven't done that already. Uh, 
Okay. Does the dog answer? I've got to teach mine to do that. Would make my life so much easier. <laughs> Does he answer? So you mean like if I'm talking to him? My dog was barking at your dog in the video. <laughs> was he barking again? I wasn't even paying attention. I mean, yes, he is a very good doggy for sure. Oh, I have three little girls too. Oh, that's so great. Great. I love having little girls. I, for, I thought my second born was for sure a boy. And I was like, I told everybody, I was like, it's a boy. It is 100% a boy. And then, uh, yeah, she definitely came out all girl. But um, we thought we were going to have a boy and a girl because I thought, my, like I said, I had this strong instinct that she was a boy. But no, she just came out to be a, like a, just all, just, what do you, what do you even call her? Like strong-willed, um, powerful little girl, that's for sure. Husbands, don't we all have man children? Husbands are the first child we care for. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you thought you you thought Jonathan was a kid. <laughs> I love it. Yes, he is in the chat, Kim, but he needs to come up here and introduce himself to you guys. I told him he needs to come up here and hang out. Hey, Alicia. I don't normally comment that much, but despite your struggles, you will overcome the help of God by loving yourself, being consistent and learning from the past. We are evolving. Thank you, Jack, for saying that. That is so sweet of you. I agree. Weeding is my absolute favorite. It would be a professional weeder. Well, Don, if you live around here, I would hire you to come weed for me because I do get tired of it. <laughs> How long did it take you to make your first sale from opening your shop? I think it was a few days, Julie, Julene, Julene. Um, but I started back in 2016 when it was a little easier to get sales. But um, once you get that first sale, you kind of get in the algorithm and you kind of, you know, build up from there. But I'd say just keep posting new products and keep going because once you, like I said, once you get in that algorithm, it'll keep going. And it takes like 30 days, I think, for the algorithm to fully pick you up. So give it a full month before you can kind of tell. Like if you're in there a couple weeks in and you're like, I'm not getting any sales, it's okay. Just keep trying and it will, sales will come, I promise. Oh, you have two girls and you said three. Hey, you might be um, manifesting something you never know. Hi, Haley. So what am I doing? I am working on decals, which I should be working faster. And I'm sitting here talking because I always do this on these lives. I'm like, oh, I'm working. And then I get so distracted. Um, but I am about to go set my silhouette up to cut some more vinyl. I didn't finish all of my computer work today, but I got at least um, a few things started so I could do something tonight and get it done. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the machine. I just need to get black cut really quick. One second. Weeding is life. I like weeding whenever I'm like watching something. Or, you know, but if I'm, if I'm like in a rush, I can't stand it. Oh, I'm just ready to be over it at that point. Single dad of a preteen girl. Oh, wow. I'll be praying for you. <laughs> if only I know the preteen, I know the preteen um, phase all too well. I have a almost 10 year old and she is already acting like a preteen. So I can, I can feel you on that. Hey, Anastasia, no, you didn't miss too much. We're just, I'm just getting orders, uh, working on, I'm working on orders. Sorry, I cannot talk tonight. Sometimes I get in these, like, I've been working today and my brain is just all bonded up. So, yep, just working on some orders. 200 watching. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I've never, I wasn't even paying attention at um, the numbers up there. Wow. Thank you so much, Alicia. Where do I buy my vinyl? I buy my vinyl at US Cutter, sometimes Amazon. Uh, just depends. I really like US Cutter though.
The Weeders Unite. I do have baby fever, to be honest, but can we just get out of potty training? Oh my gosh, I potty training is the worst, isn't it? But luckily, my girls were not too bad with that. Um, so, but yes, I, I definitely have had my share of baby fever too, here and there occasionally. Where do I buy my, oh, I just answered that question. I hope you make a day in the life as an Etsy seller, dying to know how you manage your time as a mother, wife, and business. That's a good idea. I might try like doing an actual, would you guys be interested in that? Like vlog style, but also working just kind of to get an insight of how my entire life is from like when we wake up in the morning to when I go to bed at night. If you guys would be interested, I'd be totally happy to make that. I had three girls didn't want to stop till I got my boy. Finally got him. He's four. Oh my gosh. I bet after that third, you were probably like, oh my gosh, how many times am I going to have to keep going? But yes, I definitely understand. I always wanted a boy. I thought I always wanted a boy, but I am definitely happy and content with the girls I have. And a lot of you don't know this, but my last child, um, she was born premature at 32 weeks. So uh, I was kind of scared for that to happen again. And, um, but you know, that's why I haven't had any more kids because I had a preemie, but yes. Sally, I love this community that you have built. The hands on the most helpful group of people. Oh, thank you so much, Kira. I'm so glad that you're here. And I love all of you guys. You guys are honestly like a little family. Seriously. Am I still running ads? Do you think they're worth it? So Crystal, I, I kind of touched on this a little bit, but I've spent, I think, what did I say, you guys? I talked about it earlier. It was like a hundred something on ads and made almost 500. So it is a pretty good return on ads, but I like the way ads used to be because I used to get a lot more on ads than I used than I do now because I kind of knew the system and they changed it this year, but I am running them. I'm doing $5 a day. Can I tell more about the Cameo Pro? Yes, one second. Let me go ahead and start this. Okay, so the Cameo Pro, um, what was I asking, answering about it? Hold on, I just lost your question. Okay, um, I ordered it, and when I watch your videos, problems you have with it, I'm really sad. Okay, so I do like the Pro and the idea that it has, but I have not figured out the quirks, the little quirks that it has. I am working on it, though. I didn't want to run it during all of my lives and things like that, just because it is a little bit more work you have to do. When I'm cutting a ton of something like a big sign or something, I use it 100%. But don't be sad. I am still figuring it out. I'm going and I'm going to be talking to Silhouette and getting everything figured out just to see if it's something that I need to be doing differently or if they need to send me a replacement piece or something. Uh, but it, I promise, don't be sad. We, we're going to figure this out together and I'm going to share it with you guys when I do. Okay, so I just saw you guys said yes, 100%. Okay, I'll definitely make that video soon. Maybe I'll do it this week. To be honest, I felt kind of bored to search randomly for hi and join this live stream. Well, thank you for coming on, Jack. I appreciate you joining. Because it was an acting audition. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, good luck on your YouTube journey if you keep it up. My first video was very awkward as well. So I think we can all relate to that. Oh, Shayna, really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm sitting here talking. Oh, really, guys? Oh, I didn't know that. You guys, I didn't know that that was a troll. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, anyways, um, got the vinyl cutting, and I'm going to finish weeding this uh, sign. Sally, you're getting subscribers fast. Oh, thanks, Kate. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, I just post, and I'm so thankful that it has been growing. One reason it was in the very beginning, it kind of took off a little bit. One of my videos went, I say viral, but it wasn't really viral. It's like 100,000 views or something. But um, that kind of got me a lot of subscribers during that one week or so. And then now it's just been growing by like over 100 a day. So I appreciate it. 
Um, and this isn't all about numbers, you know, just with you guys, I'm happy with just all of y'all. But um, I would love to grow and continue to reach more people to help more people. So that's that's definitely nice. But thank you guys all for joining. I just appreciate it so much. I'm a <laughs> John, get off here if you're going to be acting like a little You acting like a troll. <laughs> Why don't you come up here and say hey to the people? The people want to see you. Finally caught a live. I live out in the mountain from you. Oh, hey, hey, Jean. I'm so glad to have you. Yes, yeah, see, everyone's saying come upstairs. So you need to come upstairs. I have four boys. Last were twins. When we found out twins were boys, husband said, I obviously didn't make girls. You're done. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Kate, I really do appreciate it. I'm happy that, you know, that more people are finding the channel. I started my own craft business. Any tips for a first timer? Haley, just like I've told, I tell everybody, well, have you started a shop yet? Oh, you know, you said you started your own business. Have you opened a Etsy shop or where are you selling? I think you taught me more than some of the other groups. Oh, I'm so glad, Leslie. Yes, Miss Sky, I have a TikTok coming. I'm a new subscriber. I just found you by your craft room tour. Oh, thank you so much, Erin. I always like to know like where people found me. Let me know in the comments, you guys, what video, if you remember, what was your first video that you watched that you decided that you were going to subscribe? But thank you so much, Erin. I think you showed up on the right side videos on my YouTube one day. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Y'all, he's totally being sarcastic. <laughs> he's not scared of anything. This man is not scared of anything. He climbs trees and just dangles off of them. So, totally being sarcastic. Uh, okay, so you guys are saying starting an Etsy business. Yes, that's what, a lot of people come from that one. Dave Taylor, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a YouTuber? You just showed up saying you were live. Okay, so we got a live here. Wood sign video. Oh, that's so great, Abra. I found you on my crafters trending page. You were the first video I watched. Oh, that's awesome. I had no idea. What, what is the crafters trending page? It was a live that was recommended. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, thanks, May. That's so sweet. Wood signs. LOL for dangling in the tree. <laughs> I was looking for craft room organization, been hooked ever since. Oh, that's awesome. Packaging orders video. Dave is on Instagram. He mentioned you. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know if I know that Dave. Per I might know him. That's so awesome. I'd have no idea that I was on that. You can send me the link, um, Brenda, if you don't mind one day. And um, if you want to like send it to me so I can see who it was. So I want to thank him. Doing research over that to shop when you popped up. That's awesome. That is so cool. You popped up and then you bought a machine the next day. That is pretty cool. You binged all my videos. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> my husband fixes vehicles, heavy equipment, and also dangles from trees. <laughs> well, Lynn, it sounds like him and my husband could be friends. The video where you took us to buy wood and then recorded yourself loading wood into your SVG relatable content. Oh, thanks. That's awesome, Shayna. It's so cool to see like where people found me. I've always been curious about that. And I've never asked you guys. I found you after I found Nita. You were recommended. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, Nita is the sweetest. John, I hear you listening to me down there. You come up here right now. I 
I hear myself being delayed. It is so like I hear myself talking and it's delayed. Dave Taylor 3D art. I'm going to look. You said Instagram, Brenda. I'll check it out. I'm so bad at my social media stuff, y'all. Like, I, I need to get on there. And, like, I, I told everybody we're going to do a video on I'm going to try my social media getting started with that again. And I haven't. So I need to. Dave Taylor. 3D Wood. That is so cool. I had no idea I was on there. That is really neat. I'll have to um, um, reach out to them. Thank you so much, Brenda. Thumbs up are super helpful. We want her to have all the thumbs up. Also, John, get in here. John, come on. Come upstairs. <laughs> I don't even know if our daughter, is she asleep, John? Is Caroline asleep? I can hear myself. I hate hearing my voice. I hear myself talking downstairs. <laughs> So bad. She's asleep. Okay. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, make sure to hit the like button if you're watching. I found you last night by accident. I believe it was your sublimation unboxing. I've been trying to find someone to explain it to me in normal people language, which you did. Oh, that's so awesome. Sharon. That's what I try and do here. I want to be like relatable. I don't want to be like a robot or try and portray something that I'm not. Um, I'm a very real person. I try and be that way with you guys. Maybe I missed it. Or I don't have a TikTok yet, Anastasia, but I'm going to be getting it. I promise I'm going to have one and you guys will be the first to know. I found you for your video about the Cameo Pro and then it got hooked. Look, your streams are so nice and chill to hang out. Oh, that's so cool, Paul. Thank you for joining. I have keychain blanks and a sewing machine I haven't even touched yet. Someone please tell me I'm not allowed to get an embroider machine. <laughs> Seriously, Liz, the impulse buyer. I can relate to that. That's how I was with the sublimation stuff. But do it. I mean, if you want to do it, do it. It's more avenues um, for your business. So I'm a very big pro advocate on if you want it, you can make money with it, and it'll make you happy, then go for it. Give me a J, give me an O, give me an A. Well, he's actually J-O-N, <laughs> J-O-N. So yes, John, you hear the people want you. <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> Are you going nuts selling custom vinyl stickers and mugs? Are you going to start selling custom vinyl stickers and mugs? So I'm going to be doing the sublimation on the mugs. I don't really want to do vinyl on mugs anymore. Oh, is she awake? Yeah. Hey, Jack, can you come in and let the people see you? Come here. Hey, come. Come here. Oh, can you, you guys see the pup? Oh, he's knocking the whole thing over. Oh, here, the whole family's here. <laughs> so this is Jack. He's a German shepherd, and he's about to knock the computer off. And Caroline right here just woke up. And this is hey John guys. that all of you guys have been wanting to see. Oh, look, here they come. Look, they're <laughs> saying John. Oh, thank you, Lou, for the super chat. Oh, look, he said John, and then he put the money. <laughs> Here's John. Say hey, you too. And Haley's over here. You want to come say hi to you? Come on. Let's just get the whole family in here. Why don't we? And then this is little Haley in the back. Look, everybody's mm. saying, hi, John. <laughs> it's delayed by like a minute. Yeah, so. Oh, he's Stop beautiful. It. Is he a German <laughs> shepherd? Yes, and look, he's crazy. He's so yeah. excited because I told him to get up, so he's not used to this. Did you tell everybody about her finger? Yeah, I told everybody about her finger. She's. Are you so sad about your finger? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. It's okay. Let's go. All right, I love you, too. I love come you, on. too. All right, let's get down. He got a little overly excited because I don't okay. normally want to you just come sit down. I can get my computer. Okay, go get your computer. Come hang out. John's going to hang out, y'all. Finally. Um, need a family theme tune now. <laughs> he's adorable as the pup. Too. Yes, he's a German. Someone asked if he was a German shepherd. Yes, he is a German shepherd. Hey, Jack, the dog is so cute. Yeah, he's a really good dog for sure. We had a lot of issues with him when he was younger, but he's grown out of all of that. Um, we just didn't know how to train at the beginning a German Shepherd because you know they have all this high energy and we took um, training lessons and he is now the best dog like ever oh thank you guys you should do family vlog maybe one day you never know 
Uh, let's see. But yes, I love my little family so much. I'm glad you guys got to see them all. I, I was so funny that they all just came in at the same time. I didn't expect the dog and everybody to come in. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to get some stuff. Oh, I did. This is the weirdest thing, you guys. I have like a um, ghost stealing vinyl or something because I had an entire roll of green, a lime green vinyl. And if we can go back, I'm going to have to go back to one of the lives because I swear I had it and it's missing. Like it is completely gone. It is not in this room. And I had orders with that I needed with that color and it just disappeared because I don't ever like I tally up my vinyl every week and my lime green vinyl is just missing. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know where it went, but it's gone. So I'm going to have to order some more green vinyl. Luckily, I don't have any orders with it. And I do have some scraps, but not enough. Like just a few little pieces of it. So I don't know what happened to my green vinyl. It's just gone. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you guys for saying to talk about the family. I appreciate it. Is it possible for kids to sell on Etsy? Kate, I'm not honestly sure. I think that they have a rule that like you have to be 18, but I've heard of kids selling and then the parents just put the money in a bank account for them. So I think it probably is fine. I wouldn't go and advertise that you're a child, you know, but um, if I'm all for kids, you know, being able to have that business mindset and if they want to make money, and that is great. But I don't know the laws and rules on that. So what am I working on tonight? I am working on decals. I just have a ton of um, decal orders to do. Uh, I have, I'm getting just a few of them cut now. I haven't done all my computer work yet, but I plan on tonight before I go to bed, I'm going to finish that up. And then tomorrow I will um, come up here and finish that in the morning probably. Let's see. How big is the cutting mat? It is 12 by 24. It's great you have such a supporting husband. Oh, Robin, thank you. Yeah, he he's very supportive. He's always been there for me when I wanted to start my business. And he was very supportive in me quitting my job and just going head on with it. And it ended up being a really good decision for our family. So I appreciate it so much. Um, I was waiting on the neighbors and the mailman came to come in and say hi to. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, because it was just like everybody came in at the same time. I could I could see that would be pretty funny. Dogs are the last to be left out. They love their families. Oh my gosh, yes. Our dog is always, always with us. Always right at our feet. Always next to us. John's vinyling his car with it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he's back. Hi, Jack. Oh, he's, he said hi again. He wants to say hello again. I love you. Love you, boy. He got a bath yesterday. He smells so good. Um, I didn't know he was just going to jump up here, though. I guess he got used to it. Check his car for a green racing stripe. Uh, you see how she stores her final. Oh, thank you so much, Lauren. So watching with my husband and seven-year-old daughter, Sophia, she really wanted to say hello. Well, hello to Sophia. Oh, you see green behind me. Well, the lime green's missing. This is um, turqu um, turquoise, mint, mint, and um, this is dark green. I know you might not be able to tell, but it's not lime. I'm missing my lime green. Do you sell 11 ounce or 15 ounce mugs? I don't really sell the mugs yet. And I'm looking into the mug presses of which size to get because I'm not too sure yet. But I like big coffee mugs. So and I agree. 11 ounce mugs are pointless because you you, you got to keep refilling your cup. <laughs> what do you guys use for your lettering? Looks like chalk is on the top. Anastasia, I think, are you, uh, unless you're asking other people in the group, I guess you know that I use the spray paint, um, but I did try chalk paint and it just didn't, um, I just don't know, maybe I was doing something wrong, but it just, I always had problems, like it would not cure right, I don't know. 
Oh, thank you, Robin. Oh, bye, Kate. Oh, you got the scissors, Ash? That's awesome. Yeah, I really like those scissors a lot. There was no lime green on my rack two weeks ago. Oh my gosh, Lynn, really? I don't know. Like, I don't know what happened to it. I swear I had it though, because I remember cutting something with it and then I put it somewhere. Maybe, I don't know. Or I have just a mysterious vanishing vinyl. My daughter wants to make things and sell them, so I'm going to have to put it on my website and list and buy my child. Oh, yeah, that would be so cool, Cindy. One just jumped off the rack there. <laughs> yeah, it did. And I looked behind my table and everything is just gone. So can you drop ship on Etsy? I'm not sure about that. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I everything needs to be handmade on Etsy. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Um, maybe someone else will know. Have you tried the chalk spray paint? Yes, Kelly. I've tried that on my mason jars. So yeah, I do like that chalk spray paint, but it's a little higher priced. So I like using the regular spray paint for my wood signs. Y'all, I am liking this pin pin. It's working really well, honestly. My favorite, though, is, where is it? It's the curved one. It has a little bit of a curved edge. Here it is. Um, I don't know if you can see it well, but it kind of has an, a curve on it, so it, it makes weeding really easy, but I do like this pin pin a lot. The leprechaun took it. <laughs> Brenda, you might be right. How do you get your first sale? So, Blader, are you on Etsy or are you just wanting to sell your products just in general? Use a fluffy brush for chalkboard paint. I didn't have one to use a makeup brush. Yes, makeup brushes are great, too. Yes, Sharon, sublimation is more detailed than vinyl, but it is a way different process. So it is actually dying into your product. Um, vinyl on shirts feels very rough and the sublimation, it feels just like you're touching your shirt. So um, that's why I wanted to, I've always wanted to have some kind of clothing in my shop. So the sublimation, I'm going to mainly do the clothing and the mugs. That's the two things I really want to do. And um, that'll be what I use for my clothing. I don't really like the feeling of the HTV on shirts. I mean, it's okay, but you do have problems in the future with having to worry about it peeling or customers not knowing how to wash. Sublimation is really easy to take care of. So on Etsy Blader, um, do you already have products listed? Just, I always suggest just have as many products as possible because it does take a while to get an algorithm. So once you're in the algorithm for a good 30 days, that'll give you a good estimate. Uh, make sure you're working at it every day, though. Make sure you have your SEO really well, all your pictures, um, tags, title, description, all of that filled out properly. And um, sales will come. And I'm going to have soon more things coming with Etsy shop videos. And I'm going to also have Etsy critiques coming, things like that. So y'all stay tuned for that. Craft fairs can be expensive. The one here, I think, is like three or four hundred to join and um or maybe that was even per day i can't even remember it was something pretty expensive so you probably need to make some pretty good sales at craft fairs to make your money back no maybe it was just a one-time fee but there are other craft fairs locally i haven't even looked into but just check your town and see hi marie how does sublimation compare to infusible ink? So I'm not sure, May, because I don't know what infusible ink is. I think it's pretty similar, though. Is that the Cricut, Cricut infusible ink? Um, but if it's vinyl, it's going to be completely different. Sublimation, like I said, is just a, a dye process into the fabric. Does it charge 20 cents per month? So if you're talking about Etsy, it does charge 20 cents per listing. So each time you list a product and each time that it sell, sells, you get charged that 20 cents each time. 
where I live in Oklahoma, about 150. That's not too bad. I definitely make more selling wood signs. Um, vinyl decals, I think it's a lot of shops will do this. Like there are very successful vinyl decal shops out there, but you have to sell a lot, you know. Um, you can make them quick. So I can knock out a bunch of these really, really fast. So I do, if I'm make, selling a lot of decals, you can make pretty good money. But uh, wood signs, I sell for more. So I make more with wood signs. Are flea markets about the same? I think it's cheaper, a lot cheaper for flea markets. I thought about doing that. But then I was like, oh, I have to spend my whole, you know, weekends and stuff setting up. And um, ours locally here is pretty big. Like a lot of people go to the flea markets and a lot of handmade shops go up there. But now with this whole COVID stuff, I don't really know how it is now. Okay, now I need to get another color on here really quick. Let's get silver. I can't even tell if this color is white or silver. So I always color code my, uh, I color code all of my things that I got to cut out so I'll know what color I need to put them on. Here we go. So these are silver. Blader, definitely join the Facebook group if you haven't. There's a lot of people that would, I'm sure, be happy to check. And like I said, I'm going to be offering a lot of Etsy shop critiques and things like that very soon. Um, can you, okay, let's see. How often do you try to make a wooden sign? We just started making them and they take so much time. So it does, like if you're doing just one at a time, sometimes it feels like it takes a while, but honestly, it's like a assembly line kind of thing that I have. So I ship out twice a week and, and when I am doing wood signs, I'll always do them all the same. So I'll do all the staining, all the painting, all the spray painting. And it really doesn't feel like it takes that long because you're just kind of working on so many at the same time. Does that make sense? So I, I don't know. I might have to test that out one day and see how long it takes, like for one sign, how to, how long to do the entire process. So Robin, how do you decide what to put on your signs? I kind of touched on this a little bit, but what I like to do is do my market research and see what's popular, what's trending, what sayings are popular. And then I will kind of make my own spin on it and do my own designing for my signs. I keep it really simple though, honestly. People like simple. And personalization, people love personalization too. Our town is still doing things despite, you know what, so I stay away. Yes, I, I know. It's every town's different. Yes, I agree with everybody. That's the thing you have to know is when you do flea markets and stuff, you do uh, run the risk of people trying to lowball you and tell you, you know, that they're not going to pay that much. That is a thing I see a lot. Hey, Nita. What's up, girl? How are you doing tonight? Are you working tonight? Jack, are you still upstairs? Sorry, the, I heard the dog's claw, the dog's feet moving. I didn't know he was looking around in people's rooms. Do you come up with your own sayings or do you research popular sign quotes? Um, normally, I will look at what like popular sayings are or just like a general idea. Like if a laundry room sign is really popular, I'll kind of make my own laundry room sign. Does that make sense? I just kind of do market research as in what are people liking right now? What is in the market right now? What is selling well? Hey, Natalie. I'm taking tonight off. I have a ton of orders to go out today, so I'm beat. Hey, I don't blame you. 
Hey, Red E Hustle, Eric, what's up? Are you uh, chilling out tonight too? I don't blame you, Nita. That I'm Mondays are normally like my day where I kind of take it slow, and then Tuesday I'm like, I gotta get going. Sorry if someone already asked this question. Have you already worked with a distressed wood look before? Do you find it difficult to get a flat surface? So I do distressed sometimes like around my own house. I do like that look a lot and it's not hard. Um, I always stain the surface like a darker color and then I'll paint and then I'll distress. Um, it's not too hard. I, I don't sell a lot of that because it does take a little bit more time and I kind of like to just stick with basic colors. Um, but the flat surface, it's not too hard as long as you just sand it really well and then put some kind of coating on the top like poly and you, you should be good to go. But like I said, I don't do it a whole lot. I do it a lot for our house, like furniture, because I do like that distressed look. Um, but I haven't sold a lot of that. I'm trying to get hubby to come back. And I don't call him hubby. Y'all are probably laughing at me. I don't normally call him that. I'm just, um, a lot of you don't know his name, my husband's name. So, um, oh, you're welcome, KS, whatever your name is. I'm trying to, I know a lot of you are on the group and stuff, and I'm trying to put names to your usernames on here. Okay, so um, silver, I keep getting distracted. I gotta get silver started cutting here tonight. Okay, and then white, let's get white down here. Okay. I distress, but I do it uh, with my most popular red wood round designs. It's done that way. Erin, that's awesome. You have to um, maybe send your tips on how you get, you said dry brush method. Yeah, a lot of people do it that way too. So do you just take like a darker color or a lighter color and just kind of lightly go over it? What am I working on right now? Amanda, I'm just doing decals right now. I'm kind of getting them cut and then I'm weeding and just getting them ready. It looks like when my machine got hung up on that wood, one of the words got a little bit messed up. Or maybe I did that. Oh, I did that. Okay. So I accidentally put the words touching and it like mer mer merged together. I can't talk. I swear today, I'm just like, my brain is not functioning. I cannot speak, but yeah, I'm working on my, we've been, I've been, you know, it's so funny, you guys, like I haven't sold my cat. Like when I first put my cow on my shop, it never sold. And all of a sudden it's been selling like crazy. My little cow design. It's funny how things go through trends on your shops. Like it'll sell a lot of, and then you won't get any sales for it. And then something that you haven't sold ever start selling and picking up. So funny how that works. It's been like this long off since December. So Shirley, I've heard a lot of people on the group have been talking about their cricket having problems lately. I don't know if it was like an update, uh, but um, some people in the group said that they might have figured out a solution. So if you're not on my Facebook group, join it and see if the answer might be on there. How long do you wait between applying polyacrylic on the board, applying the vinyl, and applying? So I just wait until the polyacrylic is dry to the touch, as in, like, you should wait till it cures. Like, the first, okay, so when I am done staining and I apply the polyacrylic onto the stain, I let that dry for a while, like, overnight. But then after that, I don't really wait too long, like, between applying coats, just because as long as it is dry to the touch, like, you can take your hand and go over it and it's not sticky at all, it's fine. So, um, bye Ash. Oh, I'm sorry about your jaw. Well, thank you for joining anyways. That was really nice of you to come on here, even though you're in pain. I hope you feel better. Erin, that sounds really nice. I need to practice with it more, I guess. 
Oh, you're so welcome. I hope you're saying your name right. Panya? Panya? I just watched it's Luna Lou. She mentioned a cricket hack. Yeah, I um I don't know anything really about cricket, unfortunately. Hi Melissa. Okay, sorry guys. Um yeah, Cricut Design Space. A lot of people, I'm telling you guys, you need to switch over to Silhouette. <laughs> I love my Silhouette. Okay, yes. I must be, gotta be just listening for a bit. The man child arrived with groceries. <laughs> We need to be friends, Liz. <laughs> Is that your name, Liz? Oh, man. You're so funny. Like, your comments are making me, cracking me up. Um, do you, okay, all that she's crickets are having updates. I'm now buying a cameo. There you go, Sharon. Come join the silhouette gang. Hi, Jack. Are you, are you coming to say hello again? Come here. You coming to say hello? What do you want? It's, he's a mama's, like, he's a daddy's boy, but he knows that his mom is the one that, like, feeds him. And so anytime he wants or, like, needs something, he'll come to his mama. Right? Right? You good boy. Um, I don't normally let him up here because of the dog hair. He sheds so bad. I'm sure if you guys have uh, German shedders, <laughs> you know how it is. They shed a lot. So I don't usually like having him in my office because he sheds so much. I don't know much about cricket, but it's a video. Okay, I just read that comment. Sorry. I'm my comments sometimes go back and to the top and I have to scroll back down. I haven't seen you use the Cameo Pro much since you got it. Do you like it? So, Paul, yes, I've kind of mentioned this a little bit, but the Pro, I'm it's got a lot of quirks to it. I'm trying to figure out what to do to fix some of the things that I don't really like about it. So that's why I haven't really been doing many videos on it because I want to make sure I have it down pat before I share too much with it. Um, but maybe that'll be coming soon. I work for a software company as a tester. The releases Cricut are doing and how they're falling, failing is so bad. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, it sounds like they're having a lot of problems, but I'm telling you still what the, the pro is not having, I think it's having some issues too. Um, a lot of people in the comments have been telling me that they're having the same problem. So I hope they get it fixed because that's an expensive machine. You really make me happy and spirit me to do so many things. Oh, thank you, Tatty or Taddy. Thank you so much. Received my Scrabble tiles today. Oh, did you or was that you, Dan? That ordered for me? Oh, I'm so glad you love them. See, it's so funny because I don't even know if you guys are subscribers and you ordered for me. Let me know if you're a subscriber. I'd love to like write you a little note and but I had no idea that was were you the one that ordered the the let the one single word? Can you use the Silhouette software with the Cricut? Um, no, I don't think so, Christina. I think you have to use Cricut Design Space because it requires internet. So I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Let me go ahead and get my um, vinyl ready to be cut again. Where is mine? Oh, I need a lot more silver than this. Okay. Vinyl's falling all behind me. Yes, hope. Yes, that was you. Awesome. You guys need to let me know if you're subscribers and you order so I can know. <sighs> can you do a first timer simply silhouette project? Sure, for sure. I have a cricket, but I'm thinking to get one. I've actually thought about branching out some of the beginner videos because I know there is a lot of people that are beginners. I love the silhouette. Like I, I seriously love it so much. So I would love to be able to teach you guys how to use it if you're interested in learning that. So I'm totally happy to do some uh, tutorials. 
didn't you say you were getting a glow forge? Have you tried it? I don't know if you're talking to, are you talking to me, Christina? I'm not getting a glow forge. I thought about it, but I'm probably, my husband wants to get some industrial machine. I think the boss laser is what he's looking at. Um, cause he wants to be able to cut like some really thick steel. So, um, and I know the glow forge doesn't do that. Uh, so I might be getting, we might be getting that in the future at some point. I don't know when. Get a boss. Yeah, that's what, that's what I've heard is boss is the boss. Oh, that was you, John. <laughs> Come back up here. Come back up here with your computer and do your work up here. Okay, got my vinyl cutting. Let's see. Metal sign, there you go. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Yep, I'm a homebody, so I'm, uh, I found this shirt. I was like, that's so me. <laughs> I don't know what all he's wanting to do with it, but there's some things he wants to make with it that I wouldn't know how to make like parts for his machines and stuff. I don't even know. I have a plasma cutter you can buy. Oh, that's cool, Paul. John, don't you have a plasma cutter? We sold our CNC and regretted it after all. Oh, one day we'll get one. Do you have any recommendations on heat press? So Anastasia, I love mine. It's the Power Fancier Studio Power Heat Press. I love mine. I usually use live YouTube chat for horse race handicapping. So this is a nice change of pace. Oh, cool, Melissa. I thought it said somebody when I first saw it. What are you, what, John? John, come up here and do your work up here, boy. He said, she said, come up and tell us about the boss. Oh, he's talking about my shirt. Oh, he said he thought my shirt said somebody. Yeah. So my shirt says somebody. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if I just had a shirt that said somebody? Yeah, he used to, he told me, he's like, he came home one day and he was like, why do you have a shirt that says somebody on it? And I said, it says homebody. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Switch over to sewing. Yeah, there's a big market for that, Melissa. How much do those big sheets of vinyl cost? Okay. Um, it ranges. I'd say maybe like, what is it, like 60 bucks? I'll have to go on there and check. I get them at US Cutter. I get a big, like the Aura Mask, it cost a good bit. It's like, I don't even remember how much it was. I'll have to go back and look. But the vinyl isn't too bad. So if you get the large vinyl rolls, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Check on US Cutter and check. But I get like almost the largest I can of the um, stencil ah. vinyl. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. I need to, um, oh, is it hitting the, oh Yes, I need to redo this. So cat's eat and sugar. Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to highlight your comment there. 
I know you use Aura Mask. Have you used Oracle and like Aura Mask better? So I like Aura Mask for my stencil vinyl. He came finally. Yay. That's okay. It's, it's already broken. Um, hey, is Caroline back asleep? Okay. Um, what were we talking about? Okay, Aura Mask. So Aura Mask is stencil vinyl only and Oracle is... Um, that is your regular vinyl. Jack, come here. Come. So, um, yes, I use Oracle for my regular vinyl and Aura Mask for my stencil vinyl. Uh, I, I, I put Jack, I let Jack go to the bathroom and he came in and just ate a bunch of food. Oh, he ate more food? Yeah. Oh, Robin, you ordered for me too? Did you just place an order or, um, do you have, or have I already shipped it to you? Hey, Jack. Got the whole family in here now. <laughs> but yes, okay, this one's done. Where did my white go? It just disappeared. It was on the bottom of this. Um, I don't see it. You see it? Mm -hmm. did, I, did I not put it on there? <laughs> I hope you did. I don't even remember if I put it on there. Deanna is saying, hey. What are you doing, Carol? Okay. Yeah, my chat's like really delayed. Um, I swear I put white on there. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I loaded up without putting vinyl on there or um, the white vinyl on there. Your shirt also looks like it says home, homeboy. <laughs> does it? Oh, it does. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> that's real. That actually made me laugh. That was really funny. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if, like, when I go out, if I got in public with it, what people think it says. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh. But Robin, did you order recently? How's your finger doing, Caroline? Um, if she said it doesn't really hurt anymore. Mm hmm. I got blood everywhere. I know. Yeah. Simply Homeboy. <laughs> New business name. <laughs> there you go. Simply Homeboy. This could be my merch. Mom. Mom. <laughs> yes, Caroline. Um, can you give me some paper? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, I still got to print invoices out, too. Y'all can go color in the playroom if you want. Okay. Here you go. Grab them. There you go. I, I swear that I put white on here. Where did I put my white on? Make something really cool. Your hair covers the bee, so it looks like home boo. God. I guess it just looks like everything but homebody. <laughs> That is so funny. I got it at Sam's Club out of all places. Hey, they their clothes have been like they've upped their game real a lot in clothes. We can make a rainbow I want to use that name now, simply Homeboy Designs. <laughs> I love it. Um, are you going to do a hundred percent poly shirts or a blend? I'm gonna do a blend. So I like the sixty five, what is it, sixty five thirty? What is it, the ratio sixty five what? Um I don't know. 40? What's the 65 100? What is the ratio different? 65 30? He's talking about 100 mod and 65. Yeah. Oh Anyways, it's like a 65 blend poly. I, I, I do, I will be using 100% polyester for the white shirts, but any of the colors are going to be a blend. I like, I'm going to be using the Gildan soft style. I forgot how to make it I think you should teach the kids to use QuickBooks and do your accounting. That sounds like a great idea, Melissa. Aaron said, hi, John. Am I trying out making the Say hi. airplane? What's up? <laughs> you can call us your home booze. <laughs> Maybe I need to come up with a name to call you guys. 35. See, they're telling me 35, question mark, with laughing. But yeah, I'm really bad at like math off my brain. I have to like calculate it. I'm really. That'd be funny if you called them Sally's. Simply Sally's. Hey, my mini Sally's. <laughs> Which iron on do you use? I don't use an iron on Linda. Um, 
if you're talking about, I'm talking. I think we're talking about sublimation. If that's what you're talking about. Yes, we are your home booze. It'll be our little inside joke, right? No, we can look it up. Y'all want to make paper airplanes? Yeah, Carol, I wanted to, so I'm trying to help her, but I Y'all need, need to get to bed soon. It's getting late. And Haley, you were up. This one, one of these childs kept me up last night. <laughs> Math is hard. Yes, it is very hard. I'm not um, the most... I I'm, I'm, I can do math, but I have to be like pencil, paper, calculator. Me too, but it depends how easy it is. See, you did it right. Yeah. Yeah, I was glad that John was able to be here today because he normally works. Um, but he had, um, what was it? What was it that you got in today? Um, a dump, dump bed. A dump bed for his truck. Mm -hmm. So um, he had to get that guy to come. What did you have to meet the guy to deliver it? Mm -hmm. oh, Anyways, good. and um, if y'all don't know, John actually has his own business too, where he does like what do you, how, how would you call it? like landscaping, tree cutting? What would it be called? Everything. It's like everything, and he like does everything. So he has the side of business owning that's like physical labor, like he does work for people. So he does that, and he has a job that he goes to, you know, regularly. So he knows a lot about the whole business side of things too, but it's different than us. Like we're selling physical products. He's selling his work service. Service. There you go. He's selling his service. Can you respond to feedback on Etsy? I've been trying to respond to reviews, but can't seem to find the reply button. So Raquel, you can only respond if, if it's three stars or below. Um, <laughs> stop. 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 Jack. He's not doing anything to you. He's just laying there. If you want to get the money, you can go under the table. But yes, you can reply, Raquel, if it's three stars or below. And I always recommend don't reply to it until you've given them a chance to maybe change it. If you fix, if it is a bad review, you can fix it. If it's good, you know, you can always send a message. Did you look it up? Yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't get it. What are you up to this evening, John? Um, That's what they said. Paper airplanes. Yeah, he's helping the, the little one make a paper airplane. We need to probably get better quality paper because this is cheap copy paper. These are probably the best, like, you know, markers. Yeah. Oh, those are good markers. Because they don't want really to dry out. Some of them are sending. Yeah, he normally isn't here with me at night. So that's why I always have the kids coming in and out and um, all that. Oh, stop it. Okay, I don't hit the puppy. He's licking me. What are you guys working on tonight? Uh, are you guys working? Are you uh, cleaning the house? Are you, what are you doing? Would love to see a tutorial on how you do your Christmas plates. Yes. Do you say, is it Deanne? Deanne? Um, I w wanted to do that last Christmas, but I was so busy with orders. I didn't even have time. That's nice. Your hubby is home with you tonight. Yes, Kim it is. I love it when he's home at night. Um, but his schedule is so different. Like sometimes he will be, sometimes he won't be. So. What are you making? A, why did you pick the hardest one? He picked the most complicated uh, paper airplane. Sewing little pillows, cutting signs. Oh, that sounds fun, Melissa. What kind of pillows are you sewing? Catching up on computer work. Yes, Christina, that's me. I need to do some computer work tonight. And I'm not looking forward to it. Order digital three time, I think. Oh, the digital stuff. Oh, the digital stuff, Robin. Oh, that's cool. It doesn't end at 5 p.m. Oh, Monica, I know what you mean. Watching you only, I should be crafting, but my craft room is cold. Where do you that's live, Lynn? Is it cold where you are? I'm going to get some white. I forgot how to draw boats. Let's make that one really simple. I just climbed under the table to get some vinyl. You know, I help Sublimating keychains, making custom tumblers and coasters. That sounds fun, Addison. You didn't put the white on. I, Wayne, I just noticed that. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm like not thinking today. But that's me every day. Cat and dog pillows. Oh, that's cute, Melissa. Working on finishing the designs for our wood sign store. It'll be launched soon within 30 designs. Shuffle. Oh, that's awesome, Natalie. 
Hi, oh, Sally. Do you offer free shipping on all of your orders? <laughs> so, Karen, yes, I do. But I figure up the shipping price within my product beforehand. So I'll know about how much it'll cost me. So, yes, free shipping on wood signs and decals I do charge for. <laughs> have you always been the creative type i'm struggling to come up with ideas so christina i've always loved to be like love to craft and love to draw things and do things like that so yes i kind of have but i see so things that get me motivated is like looking online at other shops and looking like at tutorials and stuff like that maybe that'll give you some motivation to get to keep that inspiration going if that makes sense the vinyl ghost took your white. Yes, I have a vinyl ghost because it took my green. These pictures don't make any sense. Okay. Groceries in one hand, feeding kids with the other, holding notepad in my mouth for a reason I can no longer remember. <laughs> Liz, that's great. That's like my life though, because I'm, I'm constantly just oh, all over the place walking. doing so many different things at once. Well, okay, it's time for bed. Got to work a different sort of all. Oh, Aaron, well, thank you for coming. Good night, Aaron. Bye. I just followed you recently. Watched Bye. you only. I'm not sure if you do something like those Glowforge. Do you know anything about that? So, Glowforge, I do not do Glowforge videos. I know Lou, Rebecca, and a few others on here do. Yes. Um, um, yes. Haley, the tape's right over there. Right there. Oh, yeah. Wait, what did you say? It was again? It's the red. That's the only one I have. Yeah. Oh, there's more tape down there. I'm trying to get some hours for work. I need to have 12 hours of training by the end of March. Oh, my gosh. That is a lot of work. Wow. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the live. Good luck on those hours. When is When you first started on Etsy, were your sales slow? So Infant Apparel, yes, they were pretty slow, but honestly, it picked up a lot quicker than I thought it would because it really did take off in the beginning for me. But I was back, in, bless you, I was back in 2016 when sales were a little bit easier to get, I think. But um, I would just suggest, like I said, I've told other people, just keep working at your shop and keep listening as many things as you possibly can. But yes, slow is normal. Give it 30 days at least to know how it's going to be. Watch this. Mm, that works pretty good, huh? yeah, well, go up Do you think having free shipping helps with algorithm? Why? Karen, I don't think it really matters, honestly. It's more yeah, to attract go up in the it, it's more to attract watch. other buyers. Uh, so there is a market for people that like free shipping. I know that when I'm shopping, I like free shipping. You're the same way, right? You like free shipping. Mm -hmm. But then when you see that, even if you see a shipping price, I don't know, my husband and I, we always calculate it. Like if we're looking and we see something that charges for shipping, but is cheaper than the other item that's called charging free shipping, it just depends. So it's really up to you and what you in the market, what you sell and um, that kind of thing. Whoa! What does it find to? Anything else? You know, we could just use this stuff. <laughs> Can I try it? Using the Oracle 813% sold from U.S. Cutter, do you have a problem with the material lifting off liner? Lifting off liner. Are you talking about the matte, Faith? So, yes, mine does sometimes, but what I've come to find, put it on as smooth as you can. And I always take, sometimes I'll take my squeegee and go over it while it's on the cutter. Uh-oh, I'll get it. Um, put it on your mat like this and then flatten it out as good as possible. And make sure your mat is good and sticky too. Hold on. I got my, uh, my child just dropped her paper airplane. One second. No, um, it's up high up there. Thanks, mommy. You're welcome. Oh, gosh. Getting old. Do you ever make things in advance or just when it's ordered? So, Christina, I make things as ordered, but a lot of things, like, my, I'm trying to get better about cutting wood in advance, but I'm really bad about doing that. And we're going to be building a wood shop soon. So, I haven't, once we do that and we have a lot of space for a lot of pre cut wood, I'll do that then. But at this point, really, we don't really have the space for a lot of it. I had to step away to get the kids to bed. I miss John coming back. Well, he's back. <laughs> and the whole family's in here. So, 
He's trying to, are you still researching paper airplanes or are you doing something else now? No. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the little one asked him to cut paper airplanes, or cut to make paper airplanes. So he was researching a good paper airplane to make. And now he's just researching. But. It goes up in the sky. Uh -huh. Did I cut the white? I just cut the white and I took it off. And I, oh, here it is. So we need pink, red, yellow, pink, red, and yellow. Oh, how much red do I need? Only a little bit of red. Making masks, put a zipper in a winter jacket because it's going to be negative 21 tomorrow. Oh my gosh, where are you from? Did you tell me already? Tatty, 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 I'm guessing. What do you think is the biggest mistake that Etsy owners make? Oh, that's a good question. Oh my gosh, I'll have to think about that. The biggest mistake. I'd say I don't I don't know about the biggest mistake, but maybe one mistake would be if you go in there and don't like like what I did in the beginning was I didn't know what I wanted to sell. So I was like all over sewing. And I didn't do this on Etsy, but when I was making my business, I was embroidering and then I started wanting to do vinyl and so all this. So I'd say just finding your niche and like what you really enjoy making is probably one of the most important things because I wasted so much time learning embroidery and all that when I could have been researching what I ultimately meant to do. Does that make sense? But I think that was probably a big mistake for a lot of sellers is they just shift around too much with what they want to do. That's why I wanted to do what I consider a personalized gift shop. So I'm all over the, I sell a bunch of different things. Okay. One second. I'll be right back. And then, um, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I need to go in here. What is it? I'll, I'll take it over. Okay. Okay, what brand and kind of contractor paper did you buy and price? So contractor paper, I go to Lowe's and get mine. Um, yes, it would be the large roll probably for 13. I think it's what, do you remember how much that brown paper is at Lowe's? I can move it, I think it's about, it's 13 sounds right. Uh, and it's, it is the contractor grade. It's not thin. Well, I mean, it is thin, but it's pretty thick compared to like if you're 12.98. So yeah, $13 sounds about right. About four get 15% off. Really? Yeah. Well, we'll have to go do that then. Plus you get 5% off with a credit card. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I, I like to get mine at Lowe's. We're getting more snow tomorrow. I need, I wish we could get some snow. We didn't get any of the snow that South Carolina got here the other day. That everyone was posting pictures of and we were like looking outside and we had nothing. <laughs> Question for John. If you had silk bow tie company using patterns inspired by Full House, what would you name your show? <laughs> Wait, let me read that again. If you had a silk bow tie company using patterns inspired by Full House, what would you name your show? I have no idea. He said he had no idea. <laughs> That's a good question, though. Um you're like another one. <laughs> I suck at this. Under the desk crawl. Can you see me crawling under the desk? That's embarrassing. <laughs> Can they see me doing that? Oh, man. You can make another one. <clears throat> this one. Because I have a dog right here, and I'd have to try and get over him to go that way, so I had to crawl under the desk. I had a gift basket business years ago. 90s, so I am trying to learn from my earlier mistakes and didn't actually enjoy making gift. There you go, Melissa. You just have to, but sometimes it is important to play around because I wouldn't have gotten to where I was if I didn't do embroidery. So, but that's a good question that I need to think about what a mistake that Etsy sellers make. Um, I'll have to think about that one. Sometimes it takes me a while to process and think about good answers. Um, Oh, fancy house. That's a good, that is a good Thanks shop. Lou, are you ta thinking about selling full house bows <laughs> or bow ties? <laughs> that's a really cute name though, Liz. 
fancy house. Daddy, make someone like a bow. I'm making you one. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to look at these pictures. Anybody know how to make paper airplanes? Who did that as a kid? Like I had a whole book learning how to make paper airplanes when I was a kid. Did you too? Mm -hmm. Who else had that? He threw it on the bubble wrap again. <laughs> pull here, pull pull on the thing a little bit. Pull on the string. Pull on the string a little bit. Just yank it a little bit. Uh, that thing's gonna fall. Yeah, it's gonna fall. Mm -hmm. Name your shop Stamo City. Oh, that's a good one too. Stamo City. I love Full House when I was a kid. I gotta crawl into the desk again. You did? Oh yeah, Mommy, I love that show. You a girl, girl. I heard of it on Netflix, but I never watched. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm thinking of selling vinyl oh. decals. Would you say that it's profitable, or your wood signs more profitable? So yes, I think vinyl decals can be profitable. But you know what I'll tell you to do is make sure you're focusing on bulk listings. So. Like with my vinyl decals, I make a lot more money on the, um, like if you do sets, like I, like bridesmaid decal sets or um, what is it called? Pantry label sets. So there you, people are going to buy a lot more and the profits a little bit more than just one little decal. Does that make sense? So yeah, it can be profitable. Um, and I do make more with my wood signs, but that's just kind of because wood signs are a lot more work. Decals are a lot quicker, so you can work faster. What made you not do the embroidery? This one's going to be cool. So, Kim, I loved it. But the thing was, is I just fell in love with vinyl a lot more. And I think I've, I've talked about this kind of before, but um, I was doing kids clothes only. So I got a little bit worried about all the laws with kids clothing. And now that I've researched it, I realize it's not as intimidating as you may think it is. So, Daddy, do you know what that yeah. is? So if if you're doing your research and you're following all the laws, not selling anything risky for children's clothing and things like that, it's fine. I just didn't want to risk any kind of things with my business. So I just chose to go on the safer route. But I'm not telling you guys that you can't do it and that it's not safe. You're not going to get sued or anything like that. But I just back then I was too worried to get into all that. So I just decided to steer away from children's items in general. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. It's like a puppet show when she pops back up because <laughs> I'm coming out of the desk. I love it. Oh, I love that. Hi, the little hive. Oh, he said, I'm not actually making a business. I'm just trying to make them and smile. Well, you achieved it because he yeah. laughed. <laughs> Have you ever even watched Full House? Mm -hmm. Did you when you were little? Not really. Really? Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know. I did. I, I loved really it. Watch TV. Yeah, John. John. John has never been a TV kind of guy, really. He's a lot like you, Lou. Y'all work a lot. You guys are constantly working, so um, that's how John is. He's all. It's if he's not working, he's he's researching. Can I show them my bracelet I made? Yeah, John. She's been, she's been working on bracelets. Those little what are they called? Um. Loom bracelets? Loom, loom bracelets. That's what she's been working on. I started out my biz by wanting to do t-shirts. I bought all the stuff, but then moved away into decals and stickers. It's so much quicker and cheaper. There you go. It is. It is. I guess you consider it a high profit margin because vinyl is so cheap to um, buy. Please don't ever insult that man like that again. <laughs> he knows I love him, right? I guess so. Yeah. He knows I love him. We always like pick at each other. Haley, they're saying they love your bracelets. What's the one? Okay, whisper, guys. What is? What's the one thing you know now that you wish you knew when you started? Oh gosh, y'all are asking me the questions I have to think about. Um, let me think about that, and I'll let you know, Raquel. Um, because that's a really good question, and I don't want to answer it the wrong way. I actually thought about doing a video about this, like what I wish I knew before starting an Etsy shop and things like that. So I might make a video on that. That was a good one. Catch. Sure. <laughs> Aww. I'm gonna Let's try this again. Christina, yeah, it is a little bit intimidating. Hey, whisper. 
sorry if y'all hear the squealing and stuff in the background, but um, it's it's not as intimidating as you think because as long as you're not out there selling like Mickey Mouse and um, what are some other trademark things? I don't know. Just things that you would see on TV shows. Like I personally, I would just stay away from it. Just if you're wanting to do it as a legal business, because you can get yourself into some trouble, but don't stress about it. Like the signs and all that stuff. Like as long as you're looking on the trademark websites and see, don't do anything that is super trademark. Like I wouldn't go and put Walmart on a sign and then sell Walmart. it, you know, or I don't know. Disney. Yeah. Disney. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like don't go and steal people's personal. A lot of times they'll send you, what is the thing that they send you on your message? Like they'll give you a um, trademark infringement. No, no, that's not it. When they send you a letter, they'll usually warn you. And if you, and if you don't even know about it, that'll give you a chance to change. They're not going to just sue you right away. Um, I'm sure they get, they'll give you like a warning. Too. Amanda, yeah, you can definitely, you can do that. Um, business accounts aren't too hard to set up though. Uh, I just did it from the very beginning because I was nervous about merging my, with taxes and stuff. I wanted to have two separate accounts, but people do that. Like if you're a sole proprietor, if you start a sole proprietorship, a lot of times they use their regular bank accounts. I have an LLC, so my, and my husband has an LLC too. So we're completely separate entities from our business. Um, so it's up to you, depending on what kind of business you're starting and all that. My dad knew someone who went to a full house taping. Really, Melissa? That's so cool. I, I seriously was obsessed with that show as a kid. Yeah, Raquel, it might be a whole video. <laughs> oh, someone said, whoa, plane crash. Did it crash? She threw it somewhere. And then I'm still, I'm still screwing this one up. Yeah, like Blue's Clues and Disney. There you go, Kim. My kid just stepped in a Lego karma at work. Oh, I bet that hurt so bad. I have had like the worst luck stepping on things lately. What did I step on that day? It went through my foot. Uh, you're oh, you went. <laughs> you went. That's what it was. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, I stepped on a pr plug. A plug, and um, there was something else recently. That, oh, Caroline's doll, and it went through my leg. Tell them about Haley when she sit on that needle thing. Oh yeah, my daughter. This is a little mini story time. Okay. So when Haley, my oldest, was how old was she? Two, about yeah, two. Like when she was two, she was playing in her room, and we had just moved into this new house or our old house, and she jumped off of something, and then That's she, that. we thought she hit her foot, and she was screaming her foot, her foot, her foot. And we didn't know what was wrong with her foot. And we, I was looking at it. I was like, it looks fine. Like, it didn't look like anything. Like, I just thought maybe she stepped wrong. And the next day, we decided to take her to the doctor because she couldn't walk. And um, the doctor even said, nothing's wrong with her foot. And he was like, pick, pick feeling around. I was like, you think something like went in her foot? And he was like, no, I don't think so. And so we went on for what, like a week? And she was still limping. And so we went back. It maybe not it wasn't a whole week. We oh, went back to the doctor and said, we need to do something and figure out what's wrong with her foot. And they took her to the x-rays and there was an entire needle, like a sewing needle, all the way up in her little foot. And it went between her bone, like it up in her foot. And we didn't even, it didn't bleed and nothing happened. It was just a straight needle up in her foot. And she went around like that for like a whole, like almost a week. And it wasn't really like bothering her that bad. She just wasn't walking um she wasn't walking that well so anyways i felt like the worst mom in the world because i was like i should have that day i requested a x-ray and all that stuff but she had to have surgery to remove it they took her in like that next day and she had to be put under and they had to remove it it was awful it was terrible and i don't think i pulled out needles for a long time after that. i was so just like petrified of needles but anyways that was like a little mini story time i guess but that was like probably the most traumatizing thing as a mother I've ever gone through in my life. <laughs> yeah, cease and desist, April. I know I'm all over the place, but yeah, that's what it's called, a cease and desist. Everyone's saying, ouch, ouch, ouch. She is a tough girl. She is really tough. Um, but yeah, that was probably the worst experience as a mom I've ever um, dealt with with her, my child. I was just felt so bad for her. And the doctor even, he says that he tells all of his students now um, because he said that was such a random thing. He never expected that because it left no mark. Like it just went clean in her foot. 
sorry if that triggered anybody. I didn't put a trigger warning or anything, but um, it was very scary. It was very scary. <laughs> it went back up there again. I remember when it happened. And Jackson, I'll get it because Jackson's in the way. I just don't remember anything else. Yeah, you remember a lot from when you were little. Um, I don't see it up here. Mm -hmm. Here. Oh my gosh, now the dog's getting on. Stop, Jack, stop. All right, that's enough. Daddy, it's really good. Yeah, that one works good, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Not the other one. Uh, let's see, just started my Etsy shop. How do you go about shipping? It seems so confusing to me. So, life with three teens and a toddler. I'm going to have a shipping video coming soon more in detail. But check out the video I have now about how I calculate shipping charges. That might be pretty helpful to you. Just scroll down on my video, um, channel, and I think it's called Etsy Shipping Calculations or something like that. I would be um, and that should explain it. Yeah. In high school, I got sorry for the chaos, y'all. This is my normal life. Go on, Jack. Go sit down. Um. In high school, I got home and my dad told me to jump on place to take a picture of me. He didn't mention that he just got back from a ride. Oh, and it burned your leg. Oh my gosh. That I bet that was so painful. Oh, I'm so sorry you dealt with that. My cousin actually had something like that happen with her dad's muffler on his. Is it a muffler on the lawnmower that would burn you? Lawnmower? Yeah. Yeah, muffler. Muffler, yeah. Um, muffler. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened, though. That sounds. You inspired me to start my own business. So once we get tax returns, I'll start making items. Awesome, Caitlin. Congratulations. And thank you so much. I use Pirate Ship for USPS shipping. That's what I want to look into is that pirate ship. I've heard a lot about it. A few years ago, my dog swallowed a sewing needle. Oh, gosh. We didn't know, but she was acting weird. So we took her to the vet and he had to put her to sleep so they could remove it. I cannot believe that. How would it? Dogs do the weirdest things, don't they? Like swallowing a needle. And a dog to, puppet show. And they have to go yes. to the hospital. have to go to the hospital. How? Not right in my pants. Like many brand things in the mm -hmm. Did you order those? No. Or you literally just want to sell half off. Is that good? How many is it? Three? I don't know. It, it was normally like $23. Jack. What's this half off? There's many brands. Have y'all heard of mini brands? Y'all have, have them, kids. I'll go get them. They're downstairs. Haley, go, go tell Jack to leave. Jack, come on. Um, um, have you guys, you guys that have kids, do you guys, um, have you heard of many brands right now? The little miniature, um, toys or the miniature brand toys. Oh, thank you, Alyssa. You can make another How? It was only for literally seven minutes. Oh, is it gone? It dropped by like $8. Yes, not oh, it's not on sale anymore. Mm -hmm. Dang. That's really cool. Um, you can make another airplane. <laughs> you going to make it with that. Let's see. Where was I? Crazy. Are you going to show? Which one? Just a little bit. Like, yeah. They're like little toys that are literal brands. Have y'all seen them? Like this one's Bagel Bites. And it's literally has the ingredients and everything on the back. Have y'all seen those? There's Lunchables. What else do they have? Oh, here's Lemonade. One more. And then the my, I think this one's the cutest. This little Kraft macar Macaroni? No, Kraft Cheddar. Anyways. Those are the toys that kids love now, apparently. And what is it, like $7 for like five of them? Once I say they were $12 because they were so popular. So how do you ship your decals? Um, I ship them USPS. Don't get your heart broken. Um, I'm getting distracted. Okay. I ship my decals USPS and it costs, um, no, it doesn't cost $5. It's usually or about $275 to $325-ish to ship. So, yes, it depends how you ship them, too. Oh, 
Oh, yay, Melissa. Good luck. And please let us know in the group how it goes. Um, for spray paint, I've come, Carolyn, I've come to find my, Haley, go get me my spray paint, the, the um, Krylon, the Krylon one. It's with the K, the black, right there, Color Max, right there, the Color Max. Yeah. I've come to find that this is the best spray paint. So I haven't shared this yet, but the Krylon Color Max in flat black has given me the best results compared to Rust-Oleum. So yes, Melissa, and um, ask the question in the group and I'll write it for you. I'll write you some suggestions on that. Oh, I know, Amanda, I'm so distracted. I'm always so distracted all the time. I just realized I have 17 mini brands. <laughs> you're very inspirational and you give me the courage to go ahead well thank you so much kim for saying the kind words i appreciate it someone said i have many brands all over my house <laughs> isn't it so cute i love i think that it's so cute you could use them in their little doll houses or barbies and here's a1 sauce oh a1 sauce oh yeah, so cute sauce. they're just like little little sauce yeah. i think they're cute Oh, Natalie, that's amazing. Congratulations. You must be doing something right then. That is amazing. I'm so proud of you. Okay, I'm going to get this next one cut real quick. All of them are pretty much my favorite because like, I like the Lunchables and things like that. Yeah. I think the first mini brand I've ever gotten is the old base. Thoughts about offering priority mail for tracking. Melissa, yes, I would do priority tracking if you are shipping um, signs. Or it depends how big they are. If I do big signs, I go through FedEx or... Um, oh, I just realized there's two Melissas. I was, and y'all spell them, okay, a little bit different. But um, yes, priority mail is good for signs. But if you're doing big ones, go through FedEx or UPS is what I think. I have three different types of barbecue sauce. That's really cool, though. If you don't get ready for it, get ready for it. What time is it? Almost 10. Really? It's getting right. late. Mm -hmm. While watching you, I managed to try the vinyl that arrived today and did a decal that my husband helped me put on our five-gallon bucket for camping. That's awesome, Kim. I'm so glad that you got it to get on there. I've been wanting to do the buckets. I think those are cute. Oh, Caroline. Oh. Let's not cut our finger again. Oh, this child keeps me on my toes. I just realized I have a big chunk in a couple of these. Oh. Again. I already did the red. Panty oh, black. Oh, thank you so much, Cynthia. Yeah, I couldn't see. Cynthia, thank you so much. I used to have a brick and mortar monogram store with two commercial machines. What I would not do again is give people too many choices and focus on a few items at a time. That is a very good um, thing to suggest for people because that is a lot of work. It's starting to not... I don't, okay, I love doing custom orders and all that, but it does become, to be, it becomes a lot whenever you're already busy and people come in there and want so many different customizations and you're like already focused on everything. So uh, in the future, I might not do as many custom, custom orders. I don't know though, I, maybe, but um, I agree with that. Less choices gives you more time. Are they really, Susan? Haley, um, someone said that the mini brands are different from what they have in Arkansas. Yeah. Someone said, hi, Jack, you sweet baby. Jack, someone said, hey to you. <laughs> He's literally sprawled out like a big baby on the floor. Someone said, hey. Do you have set days that you go to the post office? I love getting the orders, but I hate going to the post office every day. So, yes, I go to usually on like Tuesdays and on Fridays, but sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I'll get my husband to take him to his, he has a post office next to his work. 
and he'll just drop them off before he goes to work. Because the one we have here, it takes us like how long? Like 30 minutes to get there now? Probably. Mm -hmm. So um, it is a lot of driving. We used to live right down the road from our post office at our old house. So yeah, it is a lot. Um, but I'm going to start doing pickups soon, I think. I've heard that that um, saves a lot of time. And I've actually kind of heard some horror stories about the USPS pickups. I hope it's not actually like that. Hey, the kids are up because they, and by the way, the kids are up right now because for one, my child, how long did she nap for? She took like a late nap and uh, this one needs to go to bed in a minute. That's because I wanted that super light. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I need to get these colors on now. Let's see. Oh, the kids are not getting in. The kids. These are not kids. Oh, they're kids. How many kids? I'm super airplane. Cheese. Hey. Can we start a Jack fan club? Yeah, let's do it. We should. John and I have like joked about. Can I? John and I have joked about like making him his own like what is it like TikTok or YouTube channel because he does the funniest things like I can't even explain this dog is like a part human he thinks he's a human but he loves like he melts like when he come when John comes home at night if he talks to anybody else before Jack Jack cries like a human like he actually makes human cry sounds it's hilarious and he just he loves his dad. <laughs> He says something. So um, he's funny. He is hilarious. In the very bottom, it says something. Family, something. No, not either. Oh, it really does. It must be really detailed if it has all that stuff in it. Family, something. Okay, got the vinyl started. I feel guilty doing the pickups because it's freezing here right now. Crystal, I'm actually. I'm I'm designing. I'm in the works. I haven't even played with it in a while, but I want to make the whole um, thank you. Caroline, Caroline, you're right next to the microphone, honey. I want to do the little thing that says thank you, USPS, UPS, whatever, take a treat. Have you seen those where you put snacks out for them and you just thank them and tell them to take a treat? I want to do that for ours because we order stuff all the time. We have people coming almost every day. Yeah, Jack does need his own. Maybe we'll make him a TikTok or a channel. We should. Everyone loves themselves a big dog. Mm -hmm. Jack's under your table. And he's like going to sleep. But um, I'll stay on for another like five ish minutes or so. And then I gotta go get my kiddos to bed. Have you guys, um, another thing I've noticed that sells pretty well is the state decals. Um, I just do like the states and put like a heart. Oh, you can't even see that heart in them. He heard a knock and he started uh, barking. Sorry, that was probably really loud. We do the snacks and drinks Aww. in the summertime for all the delivery companies. They love it. I think it's so sweet. It's such a great thing. Thank them. No. No. <laughs> His breath does smell like this. He eats this uh, food that is like salmon and it's just it's awful, it's awful smell. I heard it make a noise because it does holding on. Are you gross? Are you gross? Oh. No, that's enough. That's enough. No, no. I almost cut the steak out or almost cut the. Did you take it from my neighbors? Careful, Caroline. No, no. No, no. No. Did you get hair on okay, you? Bye.
bark matches the dog. <laughs> yeah, he, I think it. But it's so funny because his bark is different for every like mood he's in. Like if he thinks somebody's here, he'll make it super deep. And then if he's upset with one of us, it'll be high pitched. It's so funny. <sighs> Are you bossy? Jack is such a such a baby and so sweet. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Sal, for being so helpful. Oh, thank you, Amanda, for joining. I appreciate all of you guys for taking the time to watch uh, the live tonight. Um, I know in the Facebook group, if you guys aren't aren't already on the Facebook group, we're gonna start doing like I'm gonna start doing these craft night things where we get our supply list together where I send everybody a free SVG file and then we'll just all craft together on a live. I thought that'd be really fun. So if you guys are on the Facebook, go ahead and join it. If you're not already on the Facebook, um, we're going to be doing that here soon. My dog started barking when they heard Jack. <laughs> Isn't it funny how they, how they all get each other riled up? Jack say in his language. Yeah, you never know. I got almost all my vinyl. Well, let's see. I think I did cut it all. I cut it all except for one. I got to cut the. Stop it, y'all. But. Um, okay, guys. Well, um, you second Amanda's comment. Oh, thank you. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I guess we've been on here a long time, almost three hours. I cannot believe it's been so long. But thank you all so much for taking your time. The fact that you take the time to watch me, it just means so much to me. So um, I appreciate it. And I guess I'll see you guys again either on next Monday or maybe I'll do it over the weekend. I don't know if I request to try it on the weekend one day, maybe on a Sunday or something. So we'll try that. But um, All right, everybody say bye, y'all. Everybody say bye. 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 bye.